Hello. That's what we like to see. Hi, Hello. Dad. Hello. Hey, Hi. Dad. It's me, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hello. Dad. Can you Wait, come back from the store up. yet? Okay. There we go. Did you um, ever get that milk? <laughs> Yeah, I'm but I ran out again, so I'm probably gonna have to go again in a few ah, hours. God damn it. Oh, yeah, right, I'll see you in another Shame. 24 years. Shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hate to, hate to break it to you, but... Just don't really love you like that, bro. I'm sorry. No, Smile. That's fine. I'm I mean, used no to rejection does, at though. this point. <laughs> oh, it is so cold. God damn. Um, okay. Hello. Welcome Hello. back to Dungeon Select. Everybody. Hello. First of all, it's Sunday. We made it through another week. Two Yay. weeks, and then campaign two officially yeah. kicks off. Shit. Oh, shit. It's getting very close now. We're gonna, my week, my, like, my next ten days are full of last things to prep and mm. session zeros and... Oh, fuck. Got those soon. Panic. Yep, I did. But, um, yeah. Everyone also, tomorrow, coffee. on the DS channel, we'll be playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Me, Ethan, and Duke, who's not here. But, to replace Duke... Well, not to replace him, he's playing his own character, but uh, I figured, hey, let's bring a guest in. So we have old Chatter Geek here to, to oh, play me. along the second half of this adventure. The prettier Sir Duke 33. <laughs> the, yeah, the maybe, better Dutch Geek. Actually, the, better oh! Geek. Ooh, the real As fast Dutch as I invited you, I could uninvite <laughs> you even faster, sir. I mean, the Dutcher Dutch Geek, I'll give you. That's true, that's true. <laughs> no. Um, we are also still running a giveaway of Baldur's Gate 3, uh, courtesy oh. of Shatter himself. Uh, exclamation mark giveaway for information on that front. Thank you to our sponsor, OSG. <laughs> thank, you, thank you to our sponsor, uh, OSG. <laughs> yep. These two things aren't connected, we swear. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Do we have to hashtag ad? The hashtag inspiration ad. at the start of the session for starting a giveaway. But um, yeah, we hit 100 followers on this channel as well, guys. Pog, we did Pog. it. Triple digit nice. gang. Congrats. Congrats. How long more do you have to stream to become a affiliate? Uh, I think it's after today, days. two more. So mathematically, we you should. Tomorrow for Monday. What's well, been Baldur's the last 30 day, days? Right? Last 30 days. Yeah, last 30 days. If we, like next Sunday, tomorrow is, is Baldur's Gate, and then Sunday is another one shot. We should, I think we should be at seven in the space of 30 days. Do you want to try and squeeze like a stream in? in the, uh, maybe not you necessarily if you're We've busy. We've got Hades have, like, as well this week. Us, oh, we got Hades. Okay, we have Hades as well. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that should fix it. I mean, okay. we <laughs> have Hades to on Wednesday. Ha Do we have Hades this week? Question mark. We have Hades this week. Are you yeah, sure about that? Even Saturday, if we don't Ethan? start until nine o'clock at night and play till four in the morning, we're having Hades. You sure about I, that? Because the last yeah. few weeks, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I've been I've told work. I'm leaving at this time. I don't care if the building's on fire. You all are fucked. I've got plans. See you later. Nice. Okay. Good. So we should be so good. Says, oh, damn. oh, sorry, guys. Gotta stay at work. Yeah. We're gonna get a fucking. We're gonna we can... get a fucking DM five minutes after I promoted on the fucking dungeon select Twitter. Oh, by the way, didn't prepare anything. Smile. Uh, next week, please. Oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, guys, I'm at work because I got a stock take to do. Uh, yeah, Koiba. Yeah. But uh, okay. Before we do anything else. Ooh. Um, Spicy time. I mean, two weeks to go, two character arts to, <gasps> to reveal, so I guess character we'll just up, fucking up, do it, do it. Fucking it's why I show up, it. to be honest. I'm so, I know, I'm so excited. Yeah. Here we have. And then we only have one left. Brooks. I know. I've almost got. I really hope we continue the different color theme. We can be a rainbow party. Ooh. Yeah, I just want to fuck if uh, any of the colors is I mean, already he looks like a fucking oh, daddy, dude. Look at him. He. Oh. Like, <laughs> why is he. Why does he, he Bell, you'll get he looks like he should be an Akatar, the tattoos. <gasps> he looks like an Illyrian. And that's a problem because now I'm attracted to him. So this is Bro, not he good. does he does he's look just like he's daddy. Not gonna Why is he he's so, so uh, Laura, yeah, he kinda reminds me of Neil Caffrey, but this with Brooks. Oh it's Neil Caffrey. Brooks is very cool. Neil Caffrey was an Illyrian. Oh fuck. Oh and no. That's all you're getting. Oh no. Okay. She does look like a massive fucking daddy. What the fuck? That's oh, fuck. Shit. One handsome man. Uh, is this where everyone in the party develops daddy issues? Fuck. <laughs> we'd let you mean we'd literally pay him to what if you don't have a dad. Uh, all right. Are we having a competition to see who can seduce the rest of the party yes. first? Yes. Oh my god. I hate everyone. <laughs> I mean, oh, looking, looking at your, looking at that daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> looking like, at that daddy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Sounds like Cobb's oh, already decided shit. what he's doing all campaign. Wet already, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, Alright, so that's what you're getting. Gushing. 
he's literally mm. the thirst trap of the fucking cat of the party. Uh, but yeah, that's Brooks. And that's all you're getting. Next week, final character art reveal. And then the week after, it's campaign two time. Pog. Yo. I'm doing um, it. I... So, do things. does anyone do here things. have something to promote? Shatter. Yes. I want you to fucking plug the fuck out of yourself, bro. Go. Yeah. Elevator pitch. Who is all chatting? What does he do? And where do we follow him? Uh, ice cream. Uh, mostly Pokemon cards at the moment. Hell, dude. Look, so, okay. To interject. Pog we'll fucking streams. Open, open packs. Pog streams. Follow dude. me. <laughs> Sick. Many I got cards. packs upon. Yeah, I got three, three boxes here, and I got, got more coming. I have oh, yeah. a slight problem. Hey, man. <laughs> it's but, a uh, problem, okay? People, people like it, so. You know, I mean, it's just the new f nerd way of investing now. It's the I mean, you're just yeah, doing the of. more fun way of like. Fuck doing crypto, market, dude. Just do you know? Pokemon yeah. cards. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy. Well, I respect that it. My, my investments were not not that well then. <laughs> I spent a lot of money. Wait, do you like do <laughs> so you like send like cards off to get graded and shit as well or no? Uh, no. That's mainly because if I send cards now, I have to wait over a year to get them back. Fuck me. Yeah, there's okay. a huge delay. Yeah, so, uh, all the fucking people putting them in. So, no grading just yet. Is that something you're planning to do, like, in the future, though, or...? Yeah, I got a few cards that can be worth some some, some good money. So, nice. hopefully, I can get those created at oh, some yeah. point. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. When people stop. And, uh, just basically always stream at the moment. I took, uh, took a long break, and I'm slowly getting back into hey, it. Hey, dude, low-key, bro, I feel you on that break thing, dude. I took a break came back from my break and I realized I stopped taking a break for like too soon so I took a break again and now I'm back and it feels so fucking good dude just like <laughs> you know just imagine, slowly getting imagine the ball like again. taking a break from streaming wouldn't be me at my <laughs> I mean is it really a break if your schedule is like once a month maybe yeah it is yeah, because can just take a break until because, new world comes because, out to be honest because, like... because it was once a month maybe and then it was fucking six months later yeah <laughs> I mean, I mean, you have to stream to you have to stream like, to begin with. Cover yourself with, if you want to take with a break. the maybe, right? Yeah. Nobody can fault you because it's already right. a maybe. You're right, mm. bro. I have a I have a good streaming schedule when I get days off work, like two in a row, and I stream like four times in a week, and then the week after that, I don't fucking stream at all for like next Shit, month. Fuck it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. What's up? That could be worse. Could it? <laughs> yeah, it could. Uh, could it really? Only one way to find out, boys. <laughs> Don't challenge him, dude. Yeah. I mean, he could just never stream ever. So. Yeah, but then there's right. no, no, no. That's, you have to be at stream at some points because if you never stream ever, then there's no problem because nobody cares. Nobody, you know, nobody knows you stream or whatever. No, because you know I, mean? I do a comeback yeah, stream. I get like seven <laughs> viewers and it's big pog. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, this is sick. They don't do this more often. And uh, the next day, only one person shows up. Like, oh. Years. <laughs> I've not been here for two years, boys. Who's here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Four people in chat. Let's go. Yeah. Hell yeah. There's a Pokemon randomizer. Cries, quits, comes back six months oh, later. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Soko. Yeah. When New World comes out, I'm in trouble, right? Because it comes I, out I, my planning... first day of college. That's when New World comes oh, out. No! Oh, no! But... Bro, okay. I'm going to be 24 hours streaming that shit all the time. Like, but... Watch. I'm so ready to just... For the next, for the like after August, like the first few months, just be New World streams, dude. Hell mm -hmm. yeah, I'm so excited for mm -hmm. that game. Oh, it's gonna be so mm -hmm. good. It's gonna be fucking great. That's all we're gonna do. Uh, Laura, <laughs> you had something to announce, I think? Yeah, uh, yeah. inverse, inverse of Koiba, who <laughs> it's like maybe occasionally a stream ever tomorrow. Uh, six years on Twitch anniversary stream because I'm old, so hell yeah, that's happening. Uh, plan is 12 hour stream, aiming for noon to midnight, my time zone, EST. And I'm gonna have a sub goal up, which no one will know what the goal we're aiming for is until tomorrow. Um, mm, and if we hit that goal at, by at any point in the stream, it is a bit of a a bit of like a lofty goal. But if we hit it, uh, there will be a giveaway unlocked. There'll be a giveaway for a four or five combo pack of sizzle popcorn nice. if you are in one of the countries it ships to. And uh, we unlock an end it. of summer pool party stream at James's parents' pool. So. Forget Hot coming to the potion for me. No, you get to go see. You get to see James in a bathing suit. Oh fuck yeah! This is better. <laughs> so need about four <laughs> days to recover after that. I finally and, get my Christmas wish. And for every five gifted subs, I still have these things left. So nice. we're gonna eat. Yeah, one I need to order these. new ones. I'm almost out. I fucking the drunk soul stream like 
for when oh yeah dude oh you have that this week right uh either next saturday or saturday after depends because i might maybe uh, the I saturday might... after i can get drunk with you that's just... true maybe i'll just do it the saturday after then i'll just do spooky saturday next saturday. oh but i think I, I think i actually have people over too so it'll be even funnier fuck yeah dude oh. hell yeah okay yeah uh, that gives me time to order new jelly beans as well because i don't trust anyone anymore after that first dude, that's gonna be a souls. pog weekend ds return and drunk souls oh yeah. dude fuck yeah oh dude i'm so Ooh. excited all right anyway last we left off we were in the town or village known as uh, pale bank village you spent some time there and you 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 learned about this this disease gripping people called the frigid woe which is causing people to slowly freeze. It starts off by slowing them down a lot, then their skin turns paler and paler. Thick blue bulging veins all across their arms and face and every 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 part of their body. Until eventually it just turns them into a block of ice, freezing them to death. You were hired initially by the leader of the town or of the village to figure out what this is, what is happening to, to his people, uh, which you did. And then you got another task to travel to Isilcross to find a cure. Um, you have been granted passage on a ship called the Ramaraz, which will uh, take you to Isilcross to the town of... Hold on, hold, 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 hold. To the town of Cyrinlia. Uh, it will be a nine-day journey. But before that happens, you all step on the ship, and a bright flash of light, as Ludwig suddenly disappears, but in his place appears Tazris. Tazris. What is going on? You see your your allies. You're on top of a ship that is about to about to set sail. Not sure of what happened, but you notice that that Ludwig is missing. But the rest of your allies are there. Oh my God, Tazris! Hey! Uh, what happened? Oh, uh, you know the usual. You you came here. We did some stuff. You did some venturing, and then there you're here, and we're we we're gonna, you know, find out. Things. We're gonna find a sleeping. cure for a disease. Yeah, we're we're headed to a very very cold place. So hopefully you put on this. You have some winter this. gear. I will put. I'll put out like one of the many fucking like winter gear shit we got. I'm like, put this on. You'll get cold. Uh, oh. I mean, yeah, you got okay. you got told by. Um, <clears throat> I forget his name. Hold on. It's like a. Like by a El... Elro. 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 The guy. Yeah. Yeah. Elro. Yeah, yeah. Well, Leader you got, of the you town. got told by Elro that he uh, yeah. he has made sure that you, all your rooms are uh, have winter clothing uh, yeah. for you. So that Man, you I'll just don't... put out the ones that I had. Like, I don't know if they'll fit you. You probably have some already. But uh, here you go. Here's a big, big, big fluffy jacket for you. I'm not too affected by the cold, but y you will be. So take this, and it's just oh, like a you. big fucking winter jacket. Nice. And I'll just Fuck do it. the the brief rundown of. Our uh, dealing, our encounters with the people who had frigid, frigid woe, and what it is, and how we're looking for a cure for it. I give the, like and meme like you see blue powder, it. don't touch it. <laughs> I give the like meme version, which is really happy and like overjoyous about it. Like like <laughs> Olaf and Frozen Two. Literally, <laughs> like, I've been impaled, but it's fine. <laughs> like it's literally that way. <laughs> I nice. almost died. Absolutely fine. There's nothing um, to worry about. As you all board the ship, family dying. the ship sets off and uh, a pretty bulky looking uh, dwarf approaches you wearing like this big admiral's like hat with a big feather, very over the top. Um, and accompanied, uh, accompanying him is uh, a human. This dwarf approaches you and uh, greets you all. A, um, it's going to be about a 9 day trip to... Uh, to get to Serenlia, where we'll be waiting. Um, I've got one of uh, my crewmates here. Um, he isn't like most of us. We're all pretty, you know, simple, simple men. Uh, this guy is a bit different. Um, he actually asked me 
permission for a short leave, and uh, I'll let him do the talking, but uh, he kind of like pats your character on the on the back, uh, uh, Shatter. Uh, what do they see? What does what does the party see as you as your your character stands before them? In front of you, you see a human uh, kissed by the sun. So he's in a nice tan. He's he's been on the sea for a long time. He's in his uh, early thirties. He's very very uh, bald, long beard. Uh, he's wearing some uh, armor that looks like leather, uh, and it has. Uh, it's decorated with fish and, and shelves motifs. Uh, but the, the, the thing you, you, you directly see are his eyes, and those are electric blue. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. Well, my name is Hi. you. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Neswin. Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Neswin. No, it's nice to meet you. It's funny. I get nice it. to meet you all. Um, <laughs> I understood that you are on some kind of a uh, investigation of some kind. And well, I've been on the sea for a few years without ever going on shore. I kind of am ready to to leave the ship for a little bit. So if you need some help, of could use some extra hands. I would gladly join you. Take all the help we can get. We're, it's very time sensitive. Our mission. I work on the ship. Everything here is time sensitive. Fair. I'm Faris. I'm Faris. I'm Faris. Hello to you as well. And he just looks at <laughs> that, the, that the big frog. And... <laughs> Come on. Don't touch me. Don't do it. You will die. Oh, the frog can talk. Yeah, yes. Yeah. What do you well, mean the frog can talk? That's our that, friend that's Rav, I'll have you know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely don't like give her a pet for a good job. Made that mistake once. It's not worth it. Mm-mm. You almost lost his hand. Yeah. <laughs> you learn one way or another. Definitely. I mean, I am wearing gloves. Does that, does that that help or? Oh, uh, you'll be fine then if you're in gloves. I did it, and I'll tell you what, that was a horrible weekend. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and I just look at Especially him. Especially like, because it was mm. the right hand. Yeah. How Ooh. dare you? <laughs> There's no good hand to lose, but the right hand is the worst. True, it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it plenty on the ship. Those, those dumb people that, that can't handle the ropes, and then. Oh, it is not pretty. No such thing as a left-handed sailor. <laughs> I'm sure this. Well, <laughs> well, the left-handers don't do the work. They're more of the uh, the captain types. They just stand and command. But they're lieutenants. Yeah, they do. But most of the of, of the of the labor, the real handy people do. Fuck the patriarchy, dude. Fuck the left hand, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck gender discrimination. Fuck Which hand do you write with? Um, right with. All right. You now feel the ship slowly getting a move on, and shortly after, you see the dock of Pale Bank Village uh, grow smaller and smaller as you're headed northwest, kind of curving around the the the, the going with the shoreline of of the of the province or of the continent, really. Um, your first few days, your trip, first two days go by pretty pretty well. Uh, it grows colder and colder as as you get more and more towards your destination. Um, you notice that a lot of the pirates here, and then uh, you kind of gives you the rundown on like who everybody is and, and what they do, and kind of teaches you a bit on on what it's like, you know, living life as as someone as on a ship for for longer periods of time. Um, on day three, though, as you're all uh, asleep, you get all get woken up by a loud bang. And as you all kind of start to rush out of your out of your respective rooms, you notice that there is a giant hole in the in the in the side of the ship and in, in the hull that is slowly letting water letting water in. And shortly after, you hear a bell oh. ring, and you just hear the captain yell. 
pirates. What do you do? The worst pirate. Uh, are we at the top deck or are we below? Are you all like below deck right now? Rush up okay. to the top. And there's deck. a huge Rush hole in the wall. There's like a cannonball-sized the hole. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, do I have my bag? Oh, that's not gonna work. I'll just put my back against it. See if that stops it. <laughs> Stop it, right? Uh, sure, man. So you you kind of like s the water slowly like trickling in, and you kind of like put your back. The water is cold as fuck, by the way. It's like ice water. It's very uh, cold. Um. Uh, but like it's slowing down the, the 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 water running into the ship a little bit. Like it's still it's not like plugging the hole uh, by any means. But like it's yeah. Mm. Uh, help. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Um, All right, I I would like to 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 run to him. Oh, not again! And then I <laughs> I cast uh, shape water and try to to stop the water from coming in. Ooh, good one. Um, okay, we'll say that. Can you freeze water with shape water? Can you freeze it. That's yes. control. Is that control maybe? water? Um, one of the two. One, one of the of two, them. but I don't remember which one. If from because Kisaren could do oh, it. Yeah, I, only I can. Certain... I can freeze the water, provided there are no creatures in it and it don't freeze oh, in yeah, an hour. So I can freeze it. So basically, you cast shape water and you just just freeze the water that is running in the ship, kind of plugging the hole naturally with ice that way. It probably won't last forever, but it'll do for now. Is what you is what is you. My back stuck to it now. No, no, like no, my no, back's no, wet you're, and you're, it's ice. No, you're good. You're good. Like you, you kind of like pull time, yourself, I would you kind of like pull yourself <laughs> off, and you hear like a little, um, you know when you like lick an ice, uh, like an ice lolly, and your tongue kind of gets stuck it's to it. It's kind of like yep. that. But it's you didn't. Like that. Oh. Like, oh. But you managed to pull yourself loose from the from the icy. Like a patch of hair on there. The yeah. icy plug. Um, Balls have never been more. At this point any, in time, um, like, you can hear uh, above, the, like uh, on top of mm -hmm. the top deck, you just hear yelling. You hear you hear the captain barking orders at people. You. Uh, Mm -hmm. I will go a top Quick, deck. Quick, we should go help them. I'll go, go a, like a I'll, top I'll run a top deck and just draw my bow and get ready to see what I can fire at. Okay, as you yeah, all uh, reach the top deck, you can see on the uh, starboard side, or the right side of the ship, there is a large vessel. You can see that it has a name tag, like a name painted on 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 the back left side of it, which which is in your in your vision, the bloated corpse. And on this deck, uh, on this uh, oh, ship, oh. you can see that there's already uh, grappling hooks attached to your uh, to, to to your ship, and they're getting ready to board. Can I Do I see the helmsman? A of alacrity on myself. Sure. Oh. Do I see the helmsman? Roughly, how far away are they? Um, about sixty feet. Sixty feet. Yep. Uh, <laughs> give me a sec. Who's our strongest ranged? Well, do I see the me? Um, do I see the like sails that they have? Yeah. And how far away are they, roughly? Uh, I mean, they're up there, but uh, how, what's what's what do you want to do? I'm thinking of gust of wind, but I, it's like sixty feet ish. You should be that? able to make that, yeah. Then I will I will cast gust of wind. Oh, the range is 120 feet. Oh, there you go. Uh, so I will cast gust of wind on the sails and try and blow them as hard as I can on there. Uh, you sails. do so successfully, but because they've already grappled themselves onto your ship, it just drags your ship. I'm gonna try and throw the grappling it. hooks off. Okay. Um, with that, okay. So with that, Elias has had something to do. Let me, let me just mark that off. <laughs> uh, I'll That's give the gone. four that yeah. haven't done anything yet. Like one action and then, or like one turn. I'm and then, uh... One turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, Doesn't matter what order. Like it's up to you guys. I I will just cast bless on uh, decisions decisions. Cast bless on myself, Neswin. Um. I got bless. Yeah, you got bless now. So myself, Neswin, Rav, and. Has Riss, okay. I think, because I saw I've seen Elias cast his spell, so I'm assuming he's done something to buff himself. Is the logic, and I don't know if he would need that or not. So yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right, I will touch myself and cast uh, Mage Armor. Nice to uh, get ready oh, for the fight. Hell yeah, baby! He's a caster. How close together are the grappling hooks? He's a sorcerer. Uh, they're kind of like spread around the the railing of the ship. Okay, well, I'll run to the nearest one and I'll try and throw it back at the other ship. 
He's a sorcerer. Just like whoever's holding it. Cause... Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can you can walk up to one of the grappling hooks and just pull it off and chuck it into the water or just throw it at whatever. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'll throw it at whoever's on the other ship holding it. Um, okay, fuck it. Um, roll, a, roll a fucking uh, improvised weapon attack. So just, uh, I'd say okay. dex for this because you're... Uh, mm, nah, I'd, I'd allow strength if strength is better for you as well. If you're just like fucking power chucking it. Yeah, yeah fuck it. okay, so that means no proficiency bonus. Uh, 13? 13 uh, misses, unfortunately. So you 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 That's chuck fine. the grappling hook and it just kind of clatters behind the person, like on the, on their deck. All right. Um. So that's everyone besides Rav, I think, right? Yeah. Um. Is anyone trying to get onto our ship already? Make a perception check. Okay. Ooh. Uh. Eighteen. 18 yeah. you look around and you can see that there's two pirates pretty heavily armed and very well well armored each have a rope in their hands and are ready to like jump off of the mast to swing on top of you on, on, uh, onto your ship i'm gonna put them what are you gonna do sorry firebolt one of them yeah go for it Cause... Ooh, yay. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits, yeah. Uh, five damage. Five damage? Yeah. Alrighty. With that, two pirates, one of which has just been firebolted, swing on top of your, uh, on top of the ship, and are now standing in the middle of the top deck. Roll initiative, everybody. Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Roll initiative. It's a good one. Very average. Yay. It's a very good one. Hello. A very average. Yeah, because you're you and you get like plus a billion. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Plus 38. Look, it's, oh, it's only 1d20 plus 1d8 plus. Oh, it's only 1d20 plus 1d8. <laughs> With the plus it cost 20 me a first level spell. Oh, no. Oh, poor thing. I know. I'm sad that you're a sorcerer and not a wizard. I can't copy spells off you. <laughs> I'm not a sorcerer. Wizards, huh? Not you. Talking to someone else, so cool. I know. Shut up. Sorcerer gang gang. So? Uh, is... uh, all these casters that didn't have to study for their magic. <laughs> right? Gosh. Imagine reading books. <laughs> imagine be, uh, imagine having the magical the equivalent race, of Easy. daddy's money. Me. Sounds like a pretty good life to me. <laughs> Just have an ancient dragon, you know, fire breath you, bro. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, there's a lot of enemies that I gotta think to account, so give me a sec. <laughs> um, but you can just, you know... Alright, so, take some initiatives down. 20 plus. 30, 30. Excuse me? Uh, I hate how 30. smug he is. Fucking hell. I got right. 17 plus a 5 on my D8 plus an 8. I hate this man. Okay. Yep. I am a time bad. wizard. I mean, this that is, is what I do. That's like the one thing Wait. he's good at. Wait, you're a time wizard. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Right. Me and Anyone else? Time, 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 is time is a soup. All right. 15 to 20? 15. Uh, 15. 15, 15. Which one of you has the higher decks? I have plus three decks. I have plus two. There we go. So Quiver goes first. We got Ness win, and then we got you. Alright. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. 15 to 20? Me. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. What'd you get, Bell? 13. Oh, 13. So ten, okay, 10 to 15. Yeah, yeah. 13. Oh, I got I got 11. Rav, 11 for uh, Ferris. Okay. Uh, Soko? 7. 7? Oh, baby. We out here, dude. Mm. Alright, that's everyone, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, Elias, shock horror, you get to go first. <laughs> That's you, Ethan. Sorry, um, <laughs> I was actually like looking at my fucking spells and shit. Okay. He was uh, <laughs> How many did you say were trying to board the ship? There's two boarding the ship. There's two pirates wearing plate armor on your ship right now. Plate armor. Yes. Uh. 
Um, <laughs> are they wielding like big dick swords? Um, they are wielding spears, funnily enough. Spears? Mm. Okay. Hmm. I am going to... Fuck it. How far away are they? Or the first one? Uh, they are like in the middle of your deck, so they are um, well within melee, or well within walking range of you. Okay. I am going to... Yo, Ethan, do me a favor real quick. Mm -hmm. Would you like zoom your camera out a tad because of the way you're sitting and like the overlay, like like your half of your face gets blocked by your nameplate? <laughs> Why is the nameplate so big? <laughs> um, I'm going to, as my action... Yeah. Look at whichever one is closest to me and cast Mind Sliver. Okay. It's an intelligence saving throw. Ooh. Intelligence, you say? Yeah. Eleven. That's a fail. Okay. Uh, that one takes uh, five points of psychic damage. Okay. And must subtract 1d4 from its next saving throw. Nice. Very good. Um, then... Bonus action. Yeah, fuck it. Bonus action. I'm going to summon Shadow Blade. Hell yeah. Draw awesome. a fucking congealed shadow into a sword. Um, I am going to... In terms of movement. I'm going to move as far away as I can to the side. Okay. Uh, Starboard or um, port. port. Which side are they hooked on? Uh, Starboard. Uh, I'll move to port then. Okay. All right, all right, right. Is that your turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, the man that you just mind slithered sees you trying to weasel your way out and is just going to close the gap between you and him. Okay. And he's going to just take a spear and just try and fucking Ooh. jam it into your torso. That's a 24 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, you take 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, and that's his turn. Neswin. Holy fuck, is my turn already? Jesus fuck. Just uh, I will... I Yeah, 50, at 15, I'd assume there'd be like a baddie in between, you know what I mean? There was. Uh, there was. He stabbed me. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, there was one <laughs> nah, there'd be like another, you know what I mean? Like an I, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel. Uh, I will back up as like much as I can. Okay. And I will fucking just fire my, my boar. Uh, is there what? like, are they... Is there one like climbing aboard at the moment or are they all like just on at the There's moment? There's two on your ship. You don't see anyone trying yeah. to board at this, kind, at this time. I will, I'll still aim at like, does it look like on their ship there's like a helmsman, like a captain? Does it look like there's someone who's like quite more important looking? Like has like more like fancy clothes. Like uh, make a perception check. Okay. Oh shit, what's my perception? Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you definitely, just scanning around, not only do you see two uh, pirates aiming uh some kind of firearm towards right. people on your ship. You also see yeah. two pirates kind of getting ready to uh, board in the same way that the other two boarded. Like, they're ready with a right. rope. Not quite made the jump right. yet, but they're about to. And you see in here one individual on their deck, like, beside the wheel, just barking orders at people. How far away are they, roughly? That one who's barking orders? Um... About, about about 45 ish feet. Oh, sure, that one. Okay. Go for it. And I will. Oh, well, I'll see. So... Yeah, okay, so that is a. Uh, 23 to hit. That hits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then I'm gonna make, because I've hit, I'm going to make this a grasping arrow. Ooh. Okay. So they take an extra 2d6 damage. Nice. Uh, what the fuck my damage is Why is that kind of so huge? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, that's 16 points of damage. 16 obviously. points of damage? Nice. Yeah. And... Uh, the captain, or whoever that is, the helmsman, we'll say, mm -hmm. um, that's poison damage, if that makes any difference. Sorry, what was that? It's poison damage, if that makes a difference. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, they also, their speed is reduced by 10 feet, and okay. every time they move, they take extra damage. Fucking hell, all right. Just to let okay. you know. And they have to take make an athletics check to try and break from it. Okay. So yeah, I used enfeebling. I used grasping arrow. So like the arrow, the arrow hits them, and then this bunch of brambles just fucking like spawn from nice. the arrow, and they're like cool. covered in brambles. Awesome. Hell yeah. All right, is that your turn? Go back. Uh, I will. Hmm, let me just double check if I've got a bonus action. I don't think I do, but I will double check because uh, I do. But it's pointless using it, so that is my turn. Alrighty. Uh, you. It's your turn. <laughs> Alright, I would like to get... Can I get within 15 feet of the guy that um, allies attacked? Uh, can you get within 15, 15 feet of him? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Because that guy is currently in melee with uh, Elias, so yeah, you can definitely... Alright, I would like to do that. Okay. And I would like to cast Lightning Lure, and I need a Strength Saving Throw. Lightning the Lure, minus huh? 1d4 on it. Minus 1d4, right? Because of the fucking... Alright. Well, that's a 4 on the d4, so that's a grand nice. total of... Old? Zero. Uh, 13. That fails. There we go. So he is now... Uh, pulled up to 10 feet in a straight line to me. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you yoinked oh. him away from a line. So I just... Yoink! <laughs> you touch me, ship. I will touch you. <laughs> oh, no. oh god! All right. So you, 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 you just fucking what a cast a spell and just pull this guy towards you. Anything else? No, I don't want to touch the ship. And I was of because I was I was fifteen feet, he now is five feet, so he takes a one d eight lightning damage. Ooh, okay. Which is a seven. Nice. Um. And just for me, because I put him away, did he move outside of Elias' his, uh, oh. deck of opportunity uh, thingy, Majiggy? Yeah, but it's always a bit wonky when characters are being that's, forcefully removed out of it. And, and we kind of tend that's, to say, technically... That's, that's, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Technically, uh, rules is written if they don't move of their own volition. You don't get an attack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. In that case, I will, as much as I want, as a <laughs> bonus action, um, cast some gusts of air and pull myself ten feet in the air. Okay. Because I can do that with my tempestuous magic. Shit. So you're just like summoning like a, a gust of air that just car like carries you, like you're just floating now, yeah. pretty much. That's yeah. fucking like sick, dude. Uh, That's he's sitting on top sick. of a little tornado. That's fucking sick, dude. What the fuck? What the All right, fuck? yeah. I'm so you guys look as like your new temporary party member just first yoinks, uses magic to yoink this this uh, this pirate just away from Elias, and then summons a small little gust of wind and just uses that to levitate himself up into the air. He's like, I like it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. That's <laughs> fucking sick. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. That's All right, um, Rav, you're up. Hey, um, I'm gonna. There was someone with a firearm, right? Uh, yeah, you see two people uh, on the enemy ship just taking aim with some kind of firearm at at people on your ship. I'm gonna shoot them. Okay. With which bolt level? At second level. Nice. Is that a light cool. target multiple or is that third level? I think so. Wait, was that nothing? No, so the first it increases person? damage. Oh, it increases damage. I swear, isn't there a way for which bolt to target more than one person? No. Or is that like a. I think that's I might be thinking of like a. Eldritch. Blast. You're thinking that's Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Blast, I think. Blast? Oh, fuck. Okay. Where she's like multiple beams, yeah. 
Or I think if you're a certain class, like if a sorcerer, you can use like yeah, magic. I feel like you can like you can use sorcerer points. You, you to can do twin it. spell, yeah. but that's different. Yeah, twin yeah. spell, yeah. right? That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Um, no, it's uh, your attack. Increased at higher level is not mortal for targets. Oh yeah, dirty yeah. twenty. Dirty twenty, yeah, it hits. Hey. Okay, that is. That hits. Us. And so twenty damage. Fucking hell! All right. Immediately, as you just blast this this individual in the face with this this magical energy, he immediately starts to like look a little little weak on his feet. He's he's already looking bloodied. Eight, and that's it. All right. Uh, it. This uh, pirate with the, the you know the sharpshooter, if you will, is immediately going to just retort and aim his rifle at you, Ravamorn, and he's going to. Use dead. his sharpshooter ability. Try and deal like some extra damage. Like a little bitch. Uh, fucking that's mm -hmm. a natural one, so that's not happening. <laughs> um, he aims at you, and for a second, you, you're in fear of your life until you just he shoots, and you can see the barrel of his gun just <laughs> explode as something in the gun fucked up, and he's now left gunless. I'm looking very upset it's about a it. Little Jake of That's a natural one, dude. I have to do something. You know, I have to do something over the top. Um, okay, um, fate is okay. Um, is there like a line of like the grappling hooks embedded in the ship on like those? You said starboard side where they yeah. were boarding. Yes. Can I get to how how far away from me is that side of the ship in feet? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I want to try and get to that side of the ship and line up and like lean down and try and shoot my lightning breath along the line so the lightning like frays or like Ooh. burns or singes the ropes so they can't okay. use them and okay, it okay, attaches okay. them if that's allowed. Uh, see how how far can your lightning breath go? Uh, it is a thirty foot line. So I'd get right in front of the closest one and then however many I can singe and try and. I'm just doing some math real cut. quick. Yeah, yeah. I think you might be able to get all of them. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, you use your lightning breath and you just singe and destroy all the ropes attached to the grappling hooks. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, good job. And then bonus action, I will cast Healing Word for uh, Elias, because that's a bonus action spell. It sure is. Um, shit. You heal for five hit points. Thank you. Nice. All right, was that your turn? That... Yeah. Um, All right. I, I still have 15 more feet of movement, but I don't really have a direction I want to go. Yeah, I'll just stay there. In case um, anyone tries to throw another grappling hook, and I can be like, no. The second uh, pirate enforcer who is on your deck sees this floating man on top of a uh, gust of wind and just drops his spear to the ground and whips out a heavy crossbow and takes aim at you. you. Mm. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a natural 19, so that's probably going to hit. <laughs> mm, maybe? Yeah, yeah that is. That is uh, a grand total of 25 to hit, so I'm like, yeah. Barely, barely. Barely, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so you take... Um, 7 plus 3, 10 points of piercing damage. As this crossbow Aye. bolt just jams itself into your, uh, into your, into your like, shoulder area. I take Ooh. my reaction and cast a shield. Oh, there you go. Fair enough. <laughs> Do you does that reaction proc after uh, he hits you or see. right before? Uh, let, let me before. see. Let me see before. When you are hit by an, it's yeah, a reaction you take when you are hit by an attack. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Making sure. All right. So yeah, you use your reaction to cast shield. Very good. good. Um, let's see. Right. The two, um, or one of the two dudes on the other ship with the fuck with the rope still in, in their hand, uh, drops the rope, and it's Never just. Never mind. It, it still hits me. It still hits me. Yeah. So now it hits you, and that proxies you to prox you to cast yeah. a spell, so that any future hits are a little dif more difficult to to do. Yeah. 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 And just runs along the mast and just jumps, and Ooh. 
does like a does like a fucking combat Leaping. roll as he lands and is now also on your on your deck. Um, how much how much how much damage was it again? For you? Yeah. Uh, ten points of piercing damage. Thank you. Um and this individual whips out another firearm looking uh device, but a lot shorter uh, and wider than the two back on the uh, on the enemy ship. Um, and he is going to... Let's see. He doesn't need to. Yeah, he is. I'm trying to think who he's, who he's going to... Actually... Yeah, no, Rev. Sorry, but this is, this is the guy that you fucking... Uh, no, is it? No, it's not. I'm stupid. Never mind. Redact that. He's going to Redact. look at Faerys... And Aww. he just aims his blunderbuss at you and is going Aww. to take a shot. Oh no. That is, uh, oh, fuck me, dad. That's a 10 to hit. Nope. <laughs> yeah, roll low, idiot. Bounce off that shield. Yeah, so he aims his blunderbuss and you just whip your shield up and you can hear just like this tick, 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 as all the like, as all the different like pellets of this, of this shot just like impact your shield. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're good. Um, the second. Um, sharpshooter, the one whose gun didn't explode, is going to take aim at uh, Ravermorn. This time, not blow up his gun. That's an 11 to hit. Rav, does that hit? My rolls are terrible. <laughs> Bell, does 11 hit? Uh, 7. 11? 11. 11. 11. No. Alright. Fuck me. Sorry. Um, Tazris, it's your turn. Yeah, alright, so, uh, the man that just pulled out a fucking blunderbuss. I'm, uh, first, I'm gonna Giant's Might. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I grow into Big Large Tazarus. Nice. And then, like, seven different things I need to learn how to use. Oh, uh, okay. So, okay, so then I'm gonna run at him, and I'm going to put a little swing with my, is it a Warhammer that I'm using, I think? I believe so, yeah. Sorry, it's been two weeks. Yeah, Warhammer. Um, that's going to be a... Jesus, this is actually hard math. <laughs> uh, 13 plus 7, 20. That hits it. Okay. And I'm going to invoke my... Uh, uh, fire rune. Fire rune. Yep. That's it. All oh, right, you're playing a rune knight. So I forgot I need, about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need a strength saving throw. Strength save. Five. Five. Oh, sick. I actually get to use it this time. Oh. All right. So uh, these chains are going <laughs> to erupt from the ground that are on fire and restrain him. What the fuck? And now he's going to take an, he, he takes 2d6 fire damage at the start of each of his turns now. Jesus. Um... And he can repeat that same throw at the end of each of his turns. Fucking hell. Does that, mean, does that mean the trains, like, come up out through the water? Oh, yeah, he just fucking, like, summons them and fucking grabs them. Like, they just appear, like, like, like chains from hell, I guess. Out, I don't like, know. Like, the woodwork of the ship, just, just like, <laughs> burning chains. All right. Does it take any, any like, damage besides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about okay. to roll it. I was making sure I had all of it. Oh, yeah. Plus, like, another extra d6. This. So he takes... Uh, he takes 16 points of damage. Okay. And then I'm going to action surge. Oh. Because I'm pretty sure if he's restrained, I get advantage on the attacks against him now. Let's me have a look for you real quick, just to double check. Pretty sure that's what restrained does, but I could be wrong. Let me quickly double check for you. Hold on. Yeah. Restrained's that weird one that I always forget. Uh, yeah. You have advantage. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to fuck him up. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 23 to hit. That hits, yeah. All right. Uh, and then he takes eight points. Eight points of, of damage? Slashing damage. All right. All right, is that your turn? Or bludgeoning, but yeah. Yep, that's my turn, I think. Okay. Um, the other uh, pirate with the blunderbuss now also makes the same jump and lands onto your ship. And seeing this big, 
this now big Tazris. He's gonna aim his blunderbuss at you and try to take a shot. Does that count as a projectile? Uh, I mean, it's a ranged weapon attack. So, so I could use my gloves and missile scenario for it. Yes, you could. Uh, that is All a natural right, twenty. Do that. Then. Okay, that's gonna. Yeah, that that's probably gonna hit. <laughs> uh, for a grand total of ah, it's not too bad. Roll a four on the die, so that's eight plus five is thirteen points of bludgeoning, bludgeoning okay. and piercing damage. Interesting. Bludgeoning and yeah, let's just go with piercing. Fuck it. Uh, how does that work? Um. No. Okay. Um. Okay. So one d ten. This is my reaction needed by gloves and missile snaring. All right. I reduce the damage by eight plus my dexterity modifier, which is three, so eleven. Nice. So yeah, that's a total of two damage. But you still take. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Um, the captain, who is uh, embrambled and snared by the fucking brambles, is going to. Does he take damage on the start of his turn, Quavo? Uh, only if he moves. Only if he moves. All right, all right, all right. But he doesn't know that smile. Can he try and break out of it? He can, but it's his action to do so. He probably will. What does it require? An athletics check, please. Athletics check. 17. Uh, he passes. Okay, so he manages oh, no, to sure. break himself free. Do it again. And is going to move down from hit from we the have wheel. To do it again. Search. Huh? Run off shift. Do it again. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> As you see him walk down the stairs, suddenly he just... <laughs> Rewinds? <laughs> Rewinds. Uh, Rewind time. Rewind time That's an 11 this time. <laughs> Bails. There you yeah, go. Yeah, buddy. Fuck. All right. Nice. And that's his turn. Shit. I mean, right. he can move if he still wants to, smiley face. He doesn't know. I mean, yeah, but he does realize that he's, like, surrounded by these sharp-looking brown He's like, I don't want that I'm good where I am, you know? <laughs> yeah, but he can move, smiley face. He's like the dad that's broken up. <laughs> he just has to move one foot, and he gets hit by damage. He's like the dad that's woken up, um, got off the sofa Elias. and realized he's surrounded by Lego. It's your turn, Elias. Hello. Cringe. Um, <laughs> well, I get my reaction back, so that's great. Uh... One of the plate mail guys. Yeah. Uh, dropped his spear and pulled out a crossbow. A heavy crossbow, yes. Yeah, fuck it. I'll walk up to him. Okay. Fucking shank him with the shadow blade. Fuck yeah. It's a natural 19. That hits, yeah. Uh, which makes it. It's my fucking D8. Yeah. Uh, Eight points of psychic damage. Okay. And then I am going to attempt to stab him with the Aeorian dagger. Ooh, interesting. Uh, the sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, just hits. Fuck for that. Uh, which is another uh, four points. Piercing damage. Four points of piercing damage. All right. Okay. Very nice. Is cool. that your turn? Perfect. Um. Yeah, I'll stay where I am for now. All right. The enforcer that still has a spear out uh, now kind of looks around, sees you up in the air, but also sees that his his buddy is uh, is is you know working on working on that. So. He's going to just walk up back to you, Elias, and he's going to try and fucking just... But instead, this time, he's going to... Oh, interesting. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we don't like that voice. <laughs> we don't like to hear that. Mm -hmm. I just read here that because of a perk they have called Brutal Skewer, he crits on a 19 as well. Good to know. Oh, yikes. But... Uh, with a natural 2... No. So that's just not gonna hit, is it? Less than ten, it's just not gonna fucking hit, is it? Thank fuck for that. Uh, so that's his turn. That's win. Uh, it's me. Uh, I'm fucking just gonna shoot at that dumb bitch again who I shot last time. Fucking guy at the helm the of the enemy helping. ship. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right. Uh, that is a twenty-two to hit. Yeah. Actually. Oh fuck! Is it too late now to say? Uh... Uh, what's it called? Uh, sharpshooter. You already know the results of your roll, so yeah. Yeah. Cringe. That's fair enough. Sorry. 
No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah. Fuck. I, I fucking <laughs> forgot I got it, okay? I'm it's sorry. fine, you're fine. Now you know. Now you remember care. the rest yeah, of the session. Yeah, now I remember. How dare Sharp you. Sharpshooter. <laughs> I'm like Bell with fucking raging. True. Uh, that is a nine to hit. No, nine to hit, nine damage. Fuck. I'm gonna say what? Nine damage? Yeah. Alrighty. Very good. That is my. Uh. I mean, can I back. I backed up as much as I could, right? Can I back up any more on that? Um, I, like, no, you're, you're not really. Yeah, I'll just. I'll just kind of. It's very much like if there's anything to like not hide behind, but like just sort of be behind it, it's very much a poke out, fuck you, poke back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like fucking sniping this dickhead. <laughs> Um, you. It's your turn. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I would like to cast Chromatic Orb at second level Ooh. and spend two sorcery points to use Twin Spell oh, and is. attack both the guys on the ship. Uh, both the like the guys with the spears, or there's because yep. there's four people in the ship right now. Uh, then I just just the ones that have the spears. Okay, so yeah, so the, the, two, that's... the two the two big dudes. All right, yeah, go for yep. it. All that's, right, uh, so... a roll, an attack roll, right? Pretty sure. I believe so. Is that? I think so. So. Uh, it, 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 yeah, I think it should be. That's a nineteen. It's for the first. Yep. And a 16 for the second one. Just hits. Yes, yeah, so both hit. Nice. So that is 48. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So for the first one, that is 7, 10, 14, 19. Woo! And the second one, mm. 1, 2, 8, 9. For the second one. Okay. It's good. Yeah, they both look uh they both are starting to look pretty rough. Uh and because my turn is over now the uh, the cone of gas or the cone of wind is now disappearing and I'm slowly moving down. Okay. Alrighty. And that's me turn. That's your turn. A Ravamorn? The guy I shot with Witch Bolt is still alive, right? Yes. I'm gonna just use my action to deal more witch bolt damage to them. Go for it. Yeah, I love that spell because if it hits them once, it just keeps it stays yeah. hitting. <laughs> Nine and three, so twelve damage. Yeah. You channel your energy into the witch bolt once more and just completely annihilate this pirate. As <laughs> the sp you, like, you, the spell dissipates and you just see there's this giant hole burn into this uh, oh. in the, in this guy's torso. And he just crumbles and collapses. Very nice. Okay. Is that your turn? Bell, is that your turn? Yeah, 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 that's my turn. Righty. Um, the other shooter that just looks to his right and sees his buddy just gotten fucking fried. <laughs> and just aim his gun at you again and just try and fucking take another shot. Happy bro. 21 to hit? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they had to hit eventually, okay, Bill? No. Do <laughs> it again. Uh, with his I musket. I would like to coronal shift, Dutch. Huh? I would like to coronal oh, shift. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, the bullet just goes back 16 to, the to hit? 16? Mm hmm. Yeah. I tried. You, you tried. did. You did. Uh, Ravimorn, you take nine points of piercing damage. As okay. you're, you're just being shot by by a by a musket, and I gotta take concentration shot. I right? can't dick, don't you? Uh, I think yeah. 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 For the yeah. witch bolt. Yeah. Yeah. So DC ten. Eighteen. So there we go. What? What's up? Nothing. Okay. I just yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> it's yeah, that's having day. a breakdown. Um, so I realize I'm not playing a wizard anymore. Um, can I get to whatever spear guy is looking the weakest? Yes. They're both looking. All right. Gonna go smash one of them with my mace. Go for it. 
18 to hit. That hits. Oh, yeah. I need a d6. Oh, fuck. Garbage. All right. Seven bludgeoning damage. That'll do it. Nice. As you take your, take your, what is it, mace? Mace, right? Yeah. Take your mace and just <laughs> swing, uh, like, right into just the back of this, this, this pirate enforcer. He just kind of, like, Ugh! drops to his knees and just... Sl- just slumps down. And is Ravamorn within 60 feet of me? Yes. From wherever they're witch bolting? All right. Um, I will then bonus action cast healing word for them as well. Yay. <laughs> Your rolls a one on the d4. Nice. So you get three <laughs> hit points. Hell yeah. Yay. Dude. Fuck yeah. I have three hit Thank points. You. might be the difference between going unconscious and dying. True. Yes, true, true, there you true. go. I right. got a third back of my health. Is that, that your I turn? Lost. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. Uh, the Enforcer with his crossbow out, re- now seeing as you has, has touched ground again. He's going to kind of just take a look around and is going to take aim at Neswin. Oh, Quay wasn't, isn't here. Okay, never mind. He's going to take He's aim. <laughs> he's going to take aim at... Just uh, make it automatically hit because he's not here. Because <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna take aim at Ravamorn instead. Yeah. Uh, that is a... 21 to hit. Oh, yeah. Fine. Got away with it this time. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, for 10 Wait. piercing damage. 10 piercing? Oh. Huh? Alright. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. That is his turn. The time wizard has uh, run out. <laughs> One of the two oh. pirates that oh, have uh, your a time is, up. is going to I still have walk up to Elias and just with the blunderbuss out, just wow, uh, fifteen to hit Elias. Uh, yes. Okay. I used my reaction to try and save Val. Uh, you take eleven points of piercing damage. <laughs> okay. And that's his turn. That guy's dead. Tazris. Alright. Uh, my boy's still in chains, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I forgot to roll the 2d6 fire damage for him, right? Unless he died. Mm, no, no, no. He's still in chains. He's still in chains. Uh, he would have taken 9 points of fire damage. My bad. On his turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna fucking smash him to bits. Fuck it, dude. Go for it, yeah. Um, I'm gonna smash your mom in a second, dude. Please do. Uh, uh, does a like after that? Four hit. A what? A twenty-four. Yeah. I figured it might. Yeah, but, that's enough. You know. All right. That's. <laughs> 10 points of bludgeoning and 2 points Yeah, you fucking damage. destroy this guy. He just fucking... <laughs> and he just... Taste. Squish. It's like like squatting a, like squatting a fly. Whack-a-mole. Mm. As your chains now also dissipate since the, uh, the, the target has since been uh, killed. That's my turn. Nice. Okay. Um, the captain is going to once again try and break free of the fucking bramble. 15? Mm-hmm. So he mm. broke he breaks free. That's his turn. Um Elias. Hello. Turn again. That hurt. A lot. <laughs> no. Fuck this guy. I'm just <laughs> determining how I want to fuck this guy. <laughs> Is he looking rough? No. This guy's No, he... not at all. No. Um, okay. I'm gonna cast Mirror Image and make three illusory duplicates of myself All right. appear in the same space as me. Doki? So, try and hit me now, motherfucker. I hope he hits um, you. Mm-hmm. Doki kind of want him to hit you now. You're <laughs> <laughs> all the worst. Uh, yeah. Can't do anything as my bonus action. Um, 
So I'm just gonna stay there. Alrighty. Um, Neswin. I will sharpshoot a shot for Helmsman again. Go for it. I fucking hate myself. Why? Why is it? I thought really well. The second, the fucking second, I say it's a sharpshooter shot. Nine! <laughs> <laughs> nope, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm like, I got you, bitch! Oh, wonderful. <laughs> 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 All right, is that your turn? Or anything else you want to do? Uh, I know. I fucking shoot myself in the face, like down the fucking. Already use your action. Sorry, bud. Fuck. <laughs> Can't even do that. It's not... Uh, Can't you know what? It. Fuck it. I'll action surge. Oh. Try again. Okay. Same thing. Fighters. Sharpshooter, baby. <laughs> it's a one. He's gonna double or nothing. Hell yeah, it's better. Does a seventeen hit? Just. Fuck yeah. Uh, and fuck you if it's going to be another uh, grasping arrow. Oh, you cunt. <laughs> and it does in stupid damage. Mm -hmm. Grasping nice arrow for his corpse. <laughs> oh. This three is... Wait. Fucking nice. Just think of it in pints, it'll make fuck it easier. Shut up, shut the fuck up, don't say that, I just had a number <laughs> on my head and you talked. Uh, 24 points of damage. Woo! Alright. Make a doggy dog! God and damn. he is grappled again, he's in, well not grappled, he's fucking got these brambles. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Say so turn? Yep. Right, you. You! Um, is... Is the captain the only one still on their ship, or are there more on their ship? Um, there's another guy with a with a musket, like just taking shots at people on your ship from their deck. Oh fuck! It. Can I get within thirty feet of said captain? Yeah. All right, then I want like to cast. Uh, let's do misty step and just uh, stand behind the captain. Oh shit! Okay. So you misty step yourself right behind the captain. Yeah. What do you do? Snap his neck. Uh, <laughs> still my kill. This is cringe. <laughs> it's payback, bitch. Uh, no, 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 no. D&D is all about I... stealing kills. Yep. Cringe. I I don't play with that. Team game. effort. Team game. Team kill. I would go for... What shall I do? With a drunken sailor. Let's go for... <laughs> I, I put my hand... Oh, no, no. On his shoulder, Ooh. and I just gently say, "We took the wrong fight," and I cast shocking grasp. And nice. Because it is touch, I don't think I need to roll to hit. You do. You do. Why? Yeah, you do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to reach for them because you can go to reach for them and they could like get out of the way. I guess. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh, yeah. Natural Natural 20? 20? Okay, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Okay. Well, a bell and war. No, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. And that's uh, 14 points of damage. I'm gonna fucking scream. He has, he has yeah, 15 please kill health. Please kill him. He, he, he has 14 15. health. He has 13 HP. Oh, oh. Hey. So you teleport behind this guy, nothing personal, kid, as you just grab him kind of like by the neck. Tell him that it was a mistake to pick this fight, and you just blast him with some electric, uh, like arcane electric energy, yeah, as his head just pff, pops. Ew. That's fucking sick. Nice. Yeah, he's fucking, he's dead as fuck. Um, with that, the one, uh, rifleman that was still on, on this ship just looks at you, sees you, like, just fucking pop his captain's head like a fucking pimple immediately drops his gun like out of just sheer like shock just nice. drops his gun He's um like... all right is that your turn yeah I, I will just look at the guy that just dropped the gun okay because so... yeah, you're a fucking intimidating dude as well you're like you're pretty fucking like for especially for a sorcerer you're a fucking you're a big dude yeah um ravamorn yeah I'm gonna... Ironically, for a sorcerer, is very small. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna focus on uh the guy who dropped the gun. Okay. On which bot. Fuck yeah. Well, I already have which bot up. So. Yeah, but I think because it's a new target, you still have to yeah. roll to hit, right? I will roll to hit. Well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, dirty twenty. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Uh. Five plus sixteen damage. Sixteen points of damage. Very nice. Yes. So this guy, is like dropped his gun and is now looking at at you on their ship. As he just gets fucking blasted in the side by this witch bolts and just he's having a rough day. He's having a bad day at the office. And that's my <laughs> turn. <laughs> Alright. Um he does have a turn now and is going to use the turn. He looks around and just drops to his knees. And he's just like hands up, he's just like done. And that's his turn. Ferris. The guy who just dropped to his knees, where, how far from me is, is he on the ship? He's on the other ship. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm just gonna call across the other ship. Um, think it's time you find someone else to pirate and maybe leave us some, some, a party favor for all the trouble you've caused. <laughs> Basically like, go away, but give us money or we'll keep killing you. <laughs> like, are you trying to persuade any of them, or like, what is this? Yeah, I'm trying to persuade him to like surrender, so the ship away, but maybe Just toss us some gold. Intimidate. Make a persuasion you. check with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a very persuasive person, but no, that was super weak. You're doing that like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you. My dad's bigger than yours. It's dad. still a fourteen. Okay. All right. Uh, is that your turn? I can call the police. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna see if they do just right. start like surrender, maybe drop something shiny and then turn around. Or give whoever's on their boat, maybe give give you or give whoever went over. Like we're sorry. Then Alrighty. Uh the final of the two enforcers. Who with piracy tax. I think is in melee with Elias. One is yeah. shotgunned me, yeah. No, that's not him, that's not him, never mind. Oh no, this is the guy with the crossbow out that was like fucking just shooting at people. Oh, I was um, the yeah, you fucked the crossbow. I was shanking. Yeah, so and then yeah, the other so guy he walked in, in up and shot at me. Yeah, so there's not two. There's not two people on you. Right, right, right. I'm um, getting Eiffel towered, Yes. Yes. Oh. He is going to. Oh. He's going to look at you, Elias. And. He just yells at you to stand down very loudly. I need you to make a charisma saving throw, please. Charisma saving throw? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Do, 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 do. Not good. An eight. Eight? Oh. Yeah, nah, you feel compelled to listen. You you stand down, you lower your weapons, and that's it. That's that. Okay. And this will last uh, until the start of his next turn. Okay. Mm. The guy with the blunderbuss, now seeing that you stood down, is going to turn his back to you and um, aim his blunderbuss at uh, Big Man Tazris instead. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> He's gonna hurt himself. I got to break. And that is a 25 to hit. Yeah, I'm gonna use my reaction to use the gloves and missile snaring on this shit. Okay. Gloves and missile snaring. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy ain't gonna do shit to me. Uh, 12 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Yeah, I catch the bullets midair. And it's, what are you, it's, a it's, monk? It's like, it's like a hot <laughs> spot. Okay. So He's fucking... <laughs> Like, this, these magical gloves just make you so agile that you just catch Ugh. every individual pellet and just, Ugh. you hold them in your hand and just... I'm just gonna grin. <clears throat> just gonna nice. a nice big grin. <laughs> All right. Um, it is your turn now, Tazris. I'm gonna walk over to that guy. I'm gonna take my big meaty hand and just try to grapple him by grabbing his head and pick him up. Okay. Uh, make a grapple check. 
Oh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, grappling is athletics, correct? Yes, for you, yes. Yeah, uh, 24. Yeah, a natural three. So yeah, you haven't grappled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pick him up and uh, hold him by his head. So like he, he can like swing shuff around, but he can't hit me. Poor guy. Okay. Fair enough. Just well, away. you're just like holding the top um, of the Elias. Seat. <laughs> um, it is your turn. I mean, I love it. I'm standing down. <laughs> what? Is that, what is, is that the exact wording that was used? Yes. Okay, then I I dismiss my shadow blade. Okay, and that's my turn. All right. Um, Neswin. So I see. Did I see that that what that guy who talked to Elias and seemed you a bit saw like, Elias lower his weapons? Yeah. Did it seem like he was doing it out of mercy? Did it seem like it was trickery? Has Elias ever shown mercy like that in the Elias past? Elias ever done anything out of mercy? That seems is very, seems very, very, very out of bearing, for bearing Elias. Elias. I fucking bearing in mind last week. <laughs> last week. You, you know, see, like, Nesbitt, Nesbitt has that look where he's like, it's that side of like, I don't want to do this, but I kind of have to now. Just It's the like, oh, come on. And then just fucking fires at that one who's next to okay. Elias. Oh, sharp shooter it. Go for it. Just like, 14? this hurts me more than it 14? hurts you. Yeah. 14 doesn't hit, unfortunately. Ah, oh, just fucking... It. Again, it's it's the wind, so I'm like, I don't want to do it! Yeah. <laughs> the arrow just... The arrow just... It hits the mast. It's the mast? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Uh, I will, um... That's all I can do. But it was the wind. It was the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I oh, will. I mean, the mass, the mass is also the big thing that you know, like yeah, it's, I know, I know, it's the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fucking uh, bow arm. Um, exactly, exactly. A uh, boom, sorry, the boom. Um, I will. Uh, I'll start. I'll head forward just a little bit, like fifteen feet, just to try and close the gap. Because I'm thinking, ah, oh, fuck, I'm slightly too far away. There's something that, that booms in the way. Fuck's sake! I'll kind of like try and like go sides. So okay. The angle's a bit better, and that'll be my turn. All right. Uh, you. What do you want to do? You are on their ship with only one enemy. I'm just going to do what my character would do. Because I was looking at him, I have no clue what's happening on, on our ship. So I just walk up to him mm -hmm. and I just point to the hole they made in our, in our ship. Mm -hmm. Me ship. And then now the, to the, uh, the place where I got shot, me blood. And then I put my both my hands on him your life and i caused shocking grasps again you know, jesus christ dude, because right, this this me. this is what my character would do this guy's a fucking this guy <laughs> he's gonna run boy he's gonna run <laughs> yo i've got touch. shit don't take off my take off while he's on the other ship he's out of hugging people with a defibrillator in each hand Fucking I've up. got chills, I'll tell you what, they're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, an 18 to it. That hits, yeah. That's a... It'd be a shame you didn't hit after that delivery. <laughs> Max damage, that's uh, eight, 8 lightning damage. He, he like, stands Die. there unarmed, and or like on his knees, sits on his knees, and just... <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and he's not dead, but he's definitely... He's, you're giving him fucking shock therapy right now. Ooh. Um, anything else? Free therapy. Like, well, all the just... while, this fucking witch bolt is still just, like, beaming at him from the side as well. And, you know, just, just for the other ricks, I will use my uh, bonus section to, uh, do the little gust of wind again and, uh, hover above him for ten, ten feet. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Well, nice. looking down, very angry. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That's fucking sick, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, Ravamorn. Uh, I'm gonna... Sh I'm gonna use Witch Ball again. Just fucking roll, yeah, roll damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, right? so, yeah. 11 plus 9, so 20. Oh. And with that, as you start hovering above him, you can see the Witch Bolt that has just been continuously beaming him. Just like eventually just engulfs the pirates. And as you kind of like have to like cover your eyes because of the bright flash, as the Witch Bolt dissipates, this guy is just gone. Um, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Is that your turn, Rav? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright, team. Paris. Time to run away. <sighs> Two enemies so, left. One with a blunderbuss and one with a heavy crossbow. Yeah. Both on your ship. Uh, I'm gonna find the one with the crossbow and be like, I gave you a chance to end this! And just go ahead and try and smash somebody with a mace. Crossbow man. Okay. Nope. That's a 10 to hit. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Nope. <laughs> um... I don't have anything else I want to do. I don't really have... Excuse me. My only bonus action is healing work. Nah. All right. Just gonna put my shield up, preparing for him to maybe try and fend me off. But at least I'm hopefully gonna throw him off before he can fire his crossbow at someone else again, just by being up in his face. Not sounds good, sounds good, sounds rhythm. good. <clears throat> All right. Um, this enforcer is going to try and take a shot at um, Taz, no, not Tazarus, at uh, Neswin with his heavy crossbow. That's cringe. Neswin did nothing wrong. <laughs> no. Um, that is a dirty 20 to hit. Ah, oh, yeah? Yikes. Uh, for tw 10 points of piercing damage. Cringe. Uh, and the guy with the blunderbuss is just going to uh, try and shoot at Faerus again. He has disadvantage. Oh, true. He's grappled. Oh, right. Yeah, no, nice. yeah, you haven't grappled. He would probably try and attack you then instead. With the okay. Okay, sweet. So the disadvantage. Have disadvantage range it. attacks as well? What? Never mind. Well, he's going to have disadvantage regardless, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. So that's a 12 plus... That's, a, that's an 18 to hit. Does not hit. Does not hit? Okay, shit. Nope. Well, there you go. There you go. All right, it is now your turn, Taz. Um. Fuck, I don't know. Give him a little shit. Am I able to grapple two people at the same time? Mm, don't, no, don't think so. Okay. Not unless they were very, very small. <laughs> can I? Like, you can grapple two children, one under each arm. Can I use the one guy I have in my hand? It's like a base pump that to hit the other guy. I mean, you're grappling him. You don't have him lifted up. Like, you're not carrying him. But there's a difference. Can I carry him? Make a strength check. <laughs> Using an individual like baseball, as an man. improvised weapon. Uh, improvised weapon. 22. You are now carrying him. <laughs> hey, if you swing him fast that enough, the force action. might shatter his yes. spine. Okay, um, I, I guess that's, that's my turn. All right, Elias, you kind of snap. Uh, you you've snapped out of your uh, your 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 desire to stand down, realizing what that you've you know you've you've this this made your weapon disappear, but you're you're yourself again. You got your mind fucked with, man. Okay. Uh, the one that fucked with me. Jeez. How hurt is he looking? Very. <laughs> okay. Third level magic. Uh, sorry, second level magic missile. Go for it. Uh, let me grab all these fucking D4s. I know, you know. Three. Seven, eleven, thirteen points of oh, force damage. That'll do it. Uh, all that remain, all the only person that remains now is the pirate currently being held by Tazris as like a bat. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Fuck it. Why okay. not? Neswin, it's your turn. Like I'll I said, the only enemy left is currently being lifted up by Tazris. How high up is it being lifted? Are they being lifted up? I'm not sure. You're gonna high. hit him like a pinata. It's like five, six yeah. feet. I mean, like I'm a large guy, but that's so. basically. I'll, I will, I will sharpshooter just pew. All right. Roll attack. That's Never so mind. mean. Pinata time, baby. Literally, <laughs> <a> fucking <laughs> flesh pinata. 
<laughs> it sounds I, so I, gross. I, like, in wording, mm. oh. Ooh. I love a good flush pinata. Mm, yeah. Ooh. I assume, right, and I could be wrong here. I assume I like a it, flush it's, pinata. No, it's just like a guess that a seven doesn't hit. Like, no, just a weird, like, no, yeah, are you no. sure? If he's grappled, he's restrained, right? Yeah, but I'm firing an arrow. It might, I don't know if it applies to range attacks. It's all I just no, closed the restrained. fucking he's page, grappled. dude. God. He's grappled, Look, not restrained, so right? Dope. Grapple and restrain are two different uh, uh, times. You have to grapple and you have to restrain. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, if he's just grappled, then no. Okay, I tried. No, he's just grappled. Um, no, seven. Doesn't hit, sorry. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll just fucking stay where I am and it's my turn. Okay. Um, you. On the enemy ship uh -huh. still. What do you do? Are there any hooks on the deck? Grappling hooks, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's a few. Can but I there, throw... Some of them are separated from the ropes because I, like, set, I use lightning to singe them all. Yeah, can I find like like two new hooks and just throw them to to the ship? So because now with two ships without any connection, and I kind of want well because there's no one buying the string. Oh yeah, you're ship. on the other ship. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Other ship. So I kind of would like to see if I can uh, connect the ships again. Make uh hmm, make a dexterity check. Feel the ship and make an armada. <laughs> I got one shot with me. <laughs> I replete this is 16. 16, yeah, you managed to grapple like throw two grappling hooks and both of them like lash on to the side, like the railing of your of your own ship. And it kind of like you you tie them up, tie the tie tie the rope at the railing on your ship and it kind of like forces the ships to like stay together again. Alright. Um that's that's this my turn. Okay. Um Ravamon. I'm gonna turn which ball to the the the, the fucking flesh pinata. Human pinata, nice. Yeah, Royal Attack. Uh, well, that went perfectly. Twenty-two. Yeah. Ooh, that did not go where I wanted it. Seven plus ten, seventeen. Seventeen points of damage. damage. Nice. Uh, I mean, still alive, still kicking. Um, favoris. Um, uh, I want to, I want to try and find a way to help you get back on our ship, but I don't really have any tools with which to do that. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing useful for this. Did, my mind's blank. Blanket for a sec. Did Hugh manage when he did his check to throw it? Did he connect the two yeah. ships again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Then it's fine. Um, we've got some people looking kind of hurt. Uh, what other healy healy things do I have? Healy healy. That takes ten fucking minutes. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna do it. We've already the only ones left in our ship are like grappled. And I'm, I feel like we have this well enough in hand. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to call out to the party. Um, once you've dealt with the last of the pirates, come close to me if you want some healing. And just like, let me sit, sit cross-legged and just start like meditating and start prayer of healing, which will be done in 10 minutes. Okay. So probably when we're out of combat and then a few minutes once we're out of combat. Sounds good. Sounds now good. we're going to have a hundred more turns trying to hit this fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so any turns I have in combat, it. it's just me meditating. So you yeah. can skip me if we get to me again. We keep All right. Potions. This final pirate uh, drops his uh, blunderbuss and uh, from from his boot pulls out a dagger and is going to try and stab one of Taz's arms in an attempt to see if it, it'll let him go. Uh, 21 to hit, Taz? Fuck. Yeah, that hits. Uh, you take eight points of piercing damage, oh. 
And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, 14 plus 6? 20? Okay, you take half damage. Okay. Uh, so, 9... Uh, f so, 4 points of poison damage as well. Oof. Okay. Alrighty. Um, that's his turn. And it's now your turn, Tazrus. You have this, like... Well... You're on this, like, icy open water with, like, chunks of iceberg kind of floating around. Final Pirate is just yours to control because you have him held tightly. What do you do? There's cannons on our deck, right? Yes. Can I fit a person in a cannon? No. <laughs> Damn. I'll just check him overboard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, he's already like he's already grappled. Yeah, go walk over the edge. So like, you just you, you just know throw him into the icy water, probably Drop left him. to freeze or drown. Yep. And with that, the ships keep going, and that pirate is just chucked in the water, never to be seen again. Um, okay. That means we're out of combat. Um, I would have gone near the prayer feeling. Yeah, I've gone over. Are you going yeah, to make your way back minutes, onto, but... the sh onto the, the fr your ship, you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I've also uh, joined the rest. Gonna... What do you do, what do, you do with the other ship? The other like, ship? Are we going to sink their ship? Or I, I want to go over to the other ship. I mean, what, 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 happens, what happened to our own captain? Uh, he's kind of—he's not really a fighter, and you know this, so he kind of just took cover in his quarters uh, while you guys yeah, seem so, to handle that. So he uh, reached out. Yeah. So I will I will go to the rest, and after the healing part, I will go to his quarters and ask him what we can do because he's the captain. Loot it, and then uh, just let it crash onto one of the icebergs. Honestly, I'm going across. Aye. I'm just gonna get healed. Smile. Um, so you guys get healed, uh, and if you all kind of like go around and, and loot the enemy ship or the mm -hmm. enemy ship, um, you find a few crates of precious cargo, um, supplies pro pro presumably stolen from a different ship that they encountered before you, um, <clears throat> which uh, you you kind of. Uh, these are most of these supplies are, are like are like trade goods and and, the, and and stuff like that. So like like silks and herbs and spices, that sort of thing. Um, the party finds roughly about uh, a small stash of fifty gold pieces in the captain's quarter quarters, cool. uh, which you can divvy up among yourselves, and a small pouch of uh, rubies. Mm. There's 10 rubies in them, and the rubies are roughly 25 gold each in value. Should we do this now before we cross back over to the other ship? I'm on the other yeah. ship because I just I'm still in my circle I mean, of meditation. So found. just make sure you get back to me in 10 minutes. I'm just going to stay with you. This is just kind of vibing. If are you like meditating and like a chanting anyway or something, or saying a prayer? I'm not making any noise. I'm just kind of oh. like sitting there cross-legged and just like looking. Nesvin like, is closed. gonna. Nesvin is kind of like humming a song to himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was ten rubies and fifty gold. Aye. Uh, He's just sat next to the meditators. Uh, everyone gets two works. rubies or... I mean, I'm not my time, just humming, like... <laughs> me and Hugh, who get one ruby and 25 gold each, which comes out... Wait, how much do we get? You get a ruby, two rubies worth 25 gold each. Yay! Yeah. Two rubies, quality. Because then everyone's getting 50 gold worth of stuff, whether it's coins or gems. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Shit. That accidentally kind of works out well. <laughs> I'm smart, I'm smart! Good job, good job. Yeah, um, but what about your character? Wait, the you smartest like... person in the group, what do you mean? What, what, what was the, the rubies worth again? 25, uh, 25, 25, 25, 25 gold. gold. Okay. And as you all gather back on the ship, get healed, uh, the captain kind of just chops the grappling hooks off of the ship, and as a few, minute pa few minutes pass, you can see the, uh, the bloated corpse just kind of veer off and just crash into the first iceberg it's, it, it meets, and just completely, yeah, it's, it's done for, it's gonna sink. 
And those that want the healing when it's done, you get 17 hit points. Hey. So that was uh, an interesting, uh, you know, day. Other than that, we need to fix the hole in the ship. I, I was going to say I would like to run down and okay. uh, start hammering away with, with some planks. Yeah, I'll ha I will help uh, <laughs> bail the ship. Same. I won't help. But I'll cast Unseen 7, and my Unseen 7 will there you go. So you kind of work together uh, to, to make sure that the ship's fixed I'll again. I'll cast all, all Prestidigitation to make it look nicer. Nice. Uh, <laughs> bail any water that did creep into your bottom deck to back into the ocean. And uh, with that, seems good. And then your adventure to Isocross continues. The next few days go by pretty, you get pretty... get a long rest, technically, yeah? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. The rest of your, uh, the rest, the next few days go by pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, some, some, some singing, sea shanties to kind of pass the time as you hear the entire crew, including you, just like burst out in song every once in a while. As I heard this as one. As they're being put to work. Um, <clears throat> on day seven of your journey. <laughs> on day seven of your journey, um, it is getting like cold to the point where. You need your 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 like winter gear, or else you'll just get like frostbite, and it's not. I will good. put on the minimum amount that I have to, because I have resistance Nickel to cold. Pasties. Okay. So I'll put on the minimum amount. So obviously, if someone else needs like more layers, I'll give them like my mm -hmm. extra layers. So I'll put on the amount that I need to like not fucking freeze to death, because okay. I'm used to the cold. And this is also the point where um, there's a lot more ice. And it's getting, like, you know, it slows down a bit as the ship is trying to maneuver itself, kind of breaking apart the, the, the thinner bits of ice to create a path for itself. But eventually, after nine days of travel, the temperature has steadily dropped since you left Palebank Village, yet it seems to grow colder still as you step off the ramp of the Remoraz onto Foren, one of the islands of Isocross. Through windy snow, you can see a fur you can see fur-lined tents and yurts arranged in a large camp. Campfires are whipped by the wind, with dwarves and elves huddled close to the flames. Don't worry, it'll cool down here eventually. As you, kind of like a, in a joking manner, as that voice bellows over the snow, and a female dwarf with a shaggy mane of unkempt hair bows to you. Morgo Delwer, at your service. Welcome to Isle Cross. Hello. Hello, I'm Thank Neswin. You. Hello, Neswin. Um. What, what brings you to, to Serenly, if, uh, if you don't mind me asking? A curse. <laughs> right. A dreaded curse that we're going to help solve. All right. And there's been like, does like a pose, like, pose. yeah. Like um, back to back with Raph. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sailor Moon. Um, arms and hips, like, posing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, that's all fine and dandy, but it's, what do you need? What do, what are you here? Well, what do you we're, think? We're looking I just for said that. We're looking for a dwarf named Ervo Mustav. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that in. Ervo, right, right, right. Um, yeah, he lives uh, in that tent over there, and she kind of points you in, in the right direction. Great. Um. All right. Well. Um. If that's if that's all, if you need any, anyone else from the town, just let me know. I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Thank you for your help. To it's the tent. And I'll just follow wherever the fucking group are going. All right. In the direction of the tent that she pointed at. Fucking goes to the wrong tent and gets the next <laughs> one along. All right. I guess just... So Morgul kind of gives you gives you a bit of a tour of of Serenlia. She gestures to the group of dwarves and elves huddled and chatting around the campfires. They're planning expeditions to find Eor's lost treasures. Uh, that's what this whole place is about. If you ain't exploring, you ain't banking gold. Um, she stops in front of a large fur-lined fur yurt. You can stay here. Uh, it belonged to some fool rich elf named uh, Bertrand who came here looking for adventure. Uh, instead, he found the insides of a saber-toothed tiger instead. So, oh dear. Stands available now though, so... Uh, should be Any some food and the like in there. It's all yours now. Feel free to use it. Okay, um, great. Like I said, uh, Orvo lives in that tent over there. If you need anyone else or, or looking for anyone else, just let me know. I'll, I'll leave you to kind of set yourselves up in your uh, in your home for now. Do we knock? What? Do you knock on the tent? Yeah, knock on really? 
Yeah. It's your. You no, just have to go. Empty. Hello. This tent is like yours. No, no, oh. no. We're gonna go to the other guys. Oh right. Okay. 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 We'll okay. just we'll stand outside and show us them. I'm sure that is the most polite you, way to do this. You stand outside and you go, knock, knock, knock. Okay, so like you're just ignoring your tent and you just immediately go into the fucking. Yeah. I'm gonna go check yeah, inside our tent really fast uh. to see if the previous owner. Yeah, it was left kind of confused me behind. because like I was like, you know, you guys are in front of your tent suddenly and oh, like, yeah. knocking. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, like, Fuck our tent. Why are they I'm gonna the check our tent to make or... sure there's no traps and nobody looking to murder us. I'm just, I'm just going just straight to. Left stuff. I'm just going straight to Orvo's tent and doing what I've been told by Lars. I'm with the best win. And I go outside and I go knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Uh, Faris, um, motion and everything. There's a cold fire pit in the middle of the yurt that uh, yeah. obviously is used to keep yourself warm because even though you're inside, it's still very cold. Yeah. Like there's a biting cold going around. Mm -hmm. um, you can see an open crate with some packaged, packaged rations and a few other items. Um, okay. Some silk rope, a blanket, uh, a grappling hook, a miner's pick. And a book titled Adventure Sexy, Impress Potential Lovers with Great Deeds by Scanlon Shorthacks. <gasps> Scanlon Shorthacks. Uh, <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. Now he's dead. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna pocket the... Or I'm, I'm gonna try and add, like, the rope on the side of my pack okay. and take it. And the miner's pick. All right. Ah, there's a silk rope in the miner's pick. It's in my inventory. And then I'll go find the others. Alrighty. I guess we're standing outside Orvis tent after Ness would announce Literally, us. literally, I am I I literally <laughs> air knock. Knock knock knock! Okay, so you make your way to to Orvo Mustav. Um A campfire burns in front of the small tent, whose flaps are open. Inside the tent sits a young dwarf whose face is scarred as though scratched by a large claw. A short sword is casually laid across his lap as he warms his outstretched hands. Hey. Hello? Hello! Who are you? I'm Neswin. I'm Tazarus. This is my friend Rev. She's a frog. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And like we an have come for your assistance. You seem like an interesting bunch. Have a seat by the fire. That sounds great. With and I will use. Trust. Does he have any food or anything in him? Yeah, there's like a little. There's like uh, some rations that he's snacking on. Hell yeah! As he's like snacking them, I'll cast press decision to make them taste yeah. like brownies. <laughs> he like is eating. And like... Did you just? Hey, right, um. Everyone loves brownies. What can I do for you all? You seem like a an interesting group of individuals traveling together. What's your story? Well, we need your help. Do you know? Yeah, we need to go to Aeor. As do many of us here, yes. Well, Aeor? specifically, we need to go to a, a particular area previously searched by an individual named Ergon. There's some blue powder. Very bad. Wait, hold on. What happened to Ergon? Um... Well, they kind of... You see of... this ice outside here? Oh, yes. gosh. <laughs> looks, it's starting to look a bit like that. <laughs> they're... They're... they're in, in whatever region he searched, he came across some artifacts that had... that were linked to a magical illness that results in your body just being turned completely to ice. Yeah, blue, a bit like that. You said blue powder? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Was that that, in, yeah, was that, that tends vial? to be the substance that we think causes the whole turning to ice thing. I was, two with, vials. I was with Urgon when he found those vials. Did you touch them? How's your heart rate? Snort them. I mean, I've, I'm fine, aren't I? Are and, your uh, veins blue? And I'll look at his veins, no. see if his aha and something. But he, looks, he looks completely fine and normal. Yeah. You look um, fine and normal. We found them in... Sal's vault. Uh, it's a ruin partially submerged in in water, uh, in a region of the island where the glacial ice is very thin. Um, explorers call this region thin sheets. Um, I believe. I think the ruins are as well preserved as they are because some kind of magical reinforcement put in place before it all went to shit. 
Um, Salzwald is about 200 miles northwest of this town. Um, so it's a bit of a trek, but... Um, you see uh, good is well there enough. any? Is there any way to get there faster? Can we rent any sort of... Uh, I don't know, maybe like... A, a, a dog sled or some creatures that are good at traveling through the snow. Unfortunately, or... not. Use magic to get there. Fortunately, not. Darn. Oh. Time's Bit kind of a warning, of though. Um, seems that the magic of that location has lured in a variety of weird creatures that could pose a threat. So, if you do plan you say on going weird there, creatures or weird creatures? Weird. Okay. I mean, where um, creatures are we creatures? We've learned that Salzvault uh, has functioned as some kind of Eorian lab. Uh, me and Urgon explored only three of its chambers before being chased away by animated suits of armor. Um, but we didn't know what the vials contained, but... I sold my share of treasure from the vault to uh, to the buyer here in town. Um, don't know if you want to pay that. Yeah, visit. so... Yeah. Well, yes. Welcome for the cure to this blue powder illness, and they, the buyer's going to pick it up for us. Yeah, we need to find him after we've come back mm -hmm. with the item, but it couldn't hurt, maybe, I guess, to introduce ourselves now so he knows who to look for and what we look like. And... Um, yeah, sure. He, he, Assuming it's he. he operates I, I, from I, a tent uh, a. Right, a. right across from here. Them? Hmm? I was just I was just saying I shouldn't have assumed I, I said he but we, we weren't told what the buyer's gender was so I'm, I was just it's, sorry I didn't mean to worry, assume it's fine it's fine <laughs> you don't live everything <laughs> well we don't uh, we'll find out he goes yeah, the by buyer, anything. yeah he lives in that tent over there and he kind of nods and points I at have it. a question when all this has been talked about um the A or in lab mm -hmm. does um Elias uh, does Elias likes uh chain like face change anyway is he like does he seem <laughs> does he get horny like, does he no, get turned I mean, on I mean, I mean kind is of is there some discharge on the floor but, but more of the sense uh... of how does he does he like does he seem to be like engaged a lot more than his usual conversation yeah. with people or does is he playing it pretty cool like no, Elias, trying to act coy I mean, I'll make an inside check if he wants to make some sort of other check happily, but <laughs> it's just uh, Nesmin's kind of looking between the two like very quickly just as a uh, I mean, make I an insight check and then... I got 15. On my, he's... On my insight. Did he more base? Did he more he's this? trying to make it look like he's focused on business, but he's very clearly not thinking about the task at hand in any way. Right. He, he, he seems distracted by his own mind. Very much like, so. Okay. okay. You, to you, this is like such a change of pace from being used to like living yeah. on a ship, working on a ship, and you know, just not just going on an adventure, but going to like a lab yeah. used by an ancient since gone extinct civilization this is all mind-blowing to you yeah i was just gonna say that i think you would just be sitting there rocking back and forth trying to mimic the waves of the sea that he's used to <laughs> for, for, for for many many years so see he's, he's still rocking back and forth yeah it's like no and people he's... have like the whole like trouble getting their sea legs you have trouble getting your land your land legs yeah <laughs> so <laughs> it confuses me He's to used to around. swaying with the waves, and now that there's no yeah. waves, rather than swaying to keep himself upright, he's just like he just drunk looks drunk and all swaying. The time. <laughs> it's like when you like you know you've walked on a treadmill for a while, and then you hop off. You're like, oh yeah. my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, good to. Sorry. So, um, do you stay here? You want to ask him some more questions, or are you checking out the buyer, or what is your plan? I think it's. Can you can you show us the way? Like, do you have a map to show us the way there properly, or at all, or? Are you going to help us get there? Um, we were sent by Elro. Right, that right. Helps I don't really have a map as, as this place. It's just a wasteland of snow. But, yeah, it's um, hard to map out snow. It's just white, 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 something else, you know? So is yeah. it basically just as long as, as long as we're going true northwest, we'll don't find it. this vault place? Just stick yeah, to a it's, direction? It's, it's, and... it's 200 miles northwest. That's, that's really all I know. Uh, Directly that's... northwest? Or is that like a little deviance? Like north by northwest? Just or northwest. Like northeast. Okay. All right. Well, again, time is of the essence. 200 miles is a lot. But I guess we should just go make 
Just let the buyer know our faces, our names, and that we'll be back. Yep. All right. That sounds like a great we plan to me. Not be back, and we've died. Or that. And then someone knows, at least then people, someone knows what happened to us. We would be like part, we'd be like the ice that's out there, but so not by the disease, you. just by the cold. Yeah. Well, you that's guys true. may do. I think I'll be okay, because I like the cold, but that's not part. All right. Is that the challenge? No, it's going? an observation. What? <laughs> What's going on, dude? I think the moment uh, Evermore mentions death, you see, Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up a cool. second. And like the cool, cool not the horrific way. And like the like, you're gonna die. Hey! <laughs> oh, death! Yeah, like, woo! <laughs> you sake. see and that Nesmin is like I way just... too happy for something that should he, like, they mm. shouldn't be happy about. I just look at Nesmin and you just see the, the electric eyes. You, you just see a little, little shimmer in the eyes. And... Nesmin gives you two big thumbs up, like. <laughs> I hate this guy. You are a weird fellow, aren't you? Same. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> All right. Weird man. A weird man. So what do you do next? It's not normal. Adventurers. Find the buyer. Oh. All right. Introduce Where? ourselves. Um, as you enter the largest uh, yurt in the in the camp or in the in the town, if you will, the pungent scent of incense fills fills it. Uh, the walls are painted with glowing arcane runes. A brass brazier burns brightly at the center of the floor, around which are set a few plush chairs, a bed, a large stone chest, and on one of the chairs sits an elf reading a book, with a small dragon with green butterfly wings curled in the elf's lap. He kind of lowers the book and, and looks at you. Welcome. Don't remember having an appointment today, but what can I do for you? We won't be long. We're not going to take up too much of your time. We have 200 miles to cover. Um, but we just wanted to introduce ourselves because if we find what we're looking for, we were told you would be able to help us uh, teleport something back to Pale Bank Village because it's time is of the, the essence, shall we say. Right. You're here for the, um, the cure to the frigid woe, correct? Mm -hmm. Don't you worry. Know it. As soon as you... Um find it just give it to me i pop it in the chest over there and he kind of like points at the stone chest and uh it will instantly be transported to whichever person i want to transport it to in this case uh, elro mm -hmm. so yeah just find the cure bring it to me and i'll make sure that it gets there in a heartbeat great and like insight check him yeah sure go for it <laughs> he's not gonna keep it man. for himself all while he's kind of like like petting his like his fairy dragon. He's That's gonna... an eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. I mean, he seems very nonchalant sure. about it, but yeah, he seems he seems truthful. Cool. Any any advice? Any any tips? Any maybe um, items you have purchased that could maybe be useful for our trip that we could just take out as a loner? Uh, well, as for tips, don't die. Um... Oh. As one. for items like you can one. bring with, not really. After all, I do run a business. So I can't just. What if we purchase them? And I just took take out the two rubies in my palms, mm. like in my hand. Show him. He's up. All right. Let's have have look. Some what can we do? <laughs> more. Hmm. I may have a few small... Typically, when I come across items I deem of value, I pop them in the chest and I uh, send them back to my, you know, business associates. But uh, I think I have a few... few things that may... What, is, what kind of budget are we speaking? I mean, what type of the selling price are they at? I think it's the better question. Rather than us telling us our budget, you tell us your selling price. Uh, probably a few hundred gold pieces, my friend. I mean, that seems about the range that I was expecting to pay for. I mean, if you have a name like the buyer, I figure your your items are not just run-of-the-mill no. merchandise. None of the items you'll find on this island are run-of-the-mill merchandise. Let me let me assure you. Mm. Um. Alright, first of all, tell me a little bit about 
what kind of item you're looking for. Something offensive, something defensive, something... Is it, is it, is it something to, to protect yourselves, something to protect others, something to hurt others? What, are, we, what are you talking offensive. about here? Sorry? Don't mind I think, me. I think it's offensive. No, I just... I, I didn't, but it's fine. Um, okay. Um, I mean... I d- it, I didn't think there was that much choice. I, I sounded like your your goods were well. Before limited. we talk about no, I, I, I'm not going to show you my entire stock. What I do have, I just I, once I have an oh. idea of what you need or want, I can whip up some some items I've acquired along the way. Along the way. Um. Well, we heard specifically some some creature some risks named were saber tooth tigers and animated mm-hmm. suits of armor. Mm-hmm. So. Anything that sounds like it would be helpful when dealing with that, or maybe anything helpful when dealing with water or cold temperatures. We have two party members who are very comfortable in the water, but not so much the rest of us. Mm. We guess it's who? Something <laughs> something to keep you warm, perhaps? Yes. Right. I think I may have something. A and he, um... and warmers. He, he he like taps his his fairy dragon as the as it just <laughs> poofs and reappears at like a shelf on the other side picks something up and flies it over to him and he That's like takes cool. it um it's a bit I only have one of these and you're going to have to share but uh it never runs out but um I have a flask here it's filled with a particularly magical kind of alcohol that makes it so that the cult doesn't bother you as much as it should, shall we say? Is it actually magical alcohol, or is it just regular alcohol? Because I've heard regular alcohol Mm, does that fairly effectively, too. Not like this. Uh, All you need to do is take a few, take a couple of swigs every hour or so, and you'll be a little more protected against the cold. And a nice bonus is that the flask doesn't run out, so... We're all just going to get blasted and not feel the cold Um, It is yours for feeling generous. 200 gold pieces. Okay. And what about anything to help with the those creatures we named? Just, just in case we have to choose one or the other. Gotta see what our other options are. Um, I think... Um, well, what Mostly your... anything that could maybe dispel, although I'm sure anything that dispels magic has probably been scooped up already since this is a very mm, magical yeah, place, but just that too. Plus we could unanimate the animated expensive. suits of armor. Animated suits of armor are a bit above my pay grade. I think yeah, okay, okay. I can help you be- beat the cold a little bit. Other than that, I'm, f- I'm afraid okay. I don't have anything in my, at my disposal. Well, I would, I'd be willing to purchase that flask. Personally, right. scales scales get very cold. Mm, imagine. All right, uh, two hundred gold pieces and. Can um, I give you hmm? the the two rubies, my old mace, which is worth my regular one, which is worth five gold, and then the rest in cash. So that'd be a hundred and forty-five. I'll gold, take the rubies. The I'm not particularly interested in the mace. Okay, okay, well, it's, it's heavy, you know. Mm. Okay. Um. Then I'll give the two my my two rubies and then 150 gold. Thank you very much. And he hands you a yeah. flask and um, yeah, basically what this is is this is uh, a re-enchanted version of the uh, what's that flask called? Never mind. The never-ending flask. Or is, something? The never, is the never-ending flask? Uh, yeah, some shit like that. Could be. Mm. Regardless, it's uh, uh, yeah. It is basically a flask, just like a, like a metal flask. Yep. Filled with um, enchant in such a way where it, it, it's filled with a magical liquid, very alcohol alcoholic, but also gives you resistance to cold damage. Resistance to cold yep. damage, which lasts an hour. All right. I'm also gonna. Well, before we go, we can still keep talking. But before we go, I want to quickly dump my old basic mace in the the tent that was given to us. Okay. I'll take my fancy one with me. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Um, while we're in the shop, 
It's not really a shop. Not a shop. Okay, while we went to buy it. Yurt. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, uh, I would say it's uh, uh, unlikely, but given where we are, it might not be. I don't suppose you have any spell scrolls. Unfortunately, I do not know. I tried. You did. Right, well, um, good luck on your travels, and uh, by all means, if you find anything more interesting besides just the cure, and, uh, you know, I am called the buyer, after all. Might make it worth it? your while. Which direction are we supposed to be traveling again? Is northwest. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to know. All right. So with that so said, know, then. it's about it's about noon right now on, on the current day. You have a two hundred mile journey to uh, to travel. Uh, for the purposes of this, I would like for you to let me know how fast are you planning of on traveling. Are you going at a slow pace, a medium pace, or a fast pace? What's the drawback to fast? Because like logically, if Less we're worried self, about. Probably. Yeah, because we're worried about the people dying from the disease, like the Tiefling family that already contracted it, and who else they could spread it to, but yeah. It will be at least going no uh, normal pace. Yeah, at least not normal. Risk. Not slow, but... Okay. Definitely not slow. Definitely Do we risk normal. going fast? Do you want fast? to vote? That's you. Sure. I say we go as fast as possible. Yeah, I'd push for fast. Okay. Me too. Uh... I'm just taking it long, so if you want to go fast, we go fast. Fast it is. All right. I mean, gonna go fast. Yeah. which means we'll go in fast these dire until I see. circumstances, you're able to travel 24 miles per day. Hot day. Oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna take us. Gotta go fast. Eight days. Yeah. Nine. No. Oh, All right. Fuck me. Um, are you are you ready to go? Yeah. Ready Is it other, than, other than just dropping off my old basic mace in the, the yurt that was ours. Then I suggest we take our break here, here real quick before Ooh. you set off on hey. the travel, uh, the 200 mile journey northwest. Holy. Take a little break. Go for a pee, go get a drink, go do whatever you need to do to refresh, get back in it in like five or ten minutes. Sounds good. And um, yeah, we'll continue good. this one shot right after. Thanks for hanging out so far, guys. You guys are awesome. Exclamation mark giveaway if you want to make it, get a chance at winning a copy of Baldur's Gate 3, uh, sponsored by our very own Old Shatter Geek. Thank you again. Appreciate you. Who you wouldn't want to win a copy um, of Baldur's Gate? And it's good to have yeah. you here, Shatter. It's good to have you uh, play along with us for the night. Oh, thank you all for having me. So we'll be back in about 10-ish minutes, guys. Around.
just for yeah, that. How do you get a big cock when you have a small cock? Oh my yeah, god. How do you get a big cock when you have a small cock? What a thing. Tons of aggro. To. <laughs> nice. Very, very cool. You, you gotta watch when he's hitting the unmute boys. Some things never change, right? And that's one thing that a lot of Some things you don't want to change, though. That's true, actually. That's true. All right. So, adventurers, you've reached Isle Cross. You're on the island of Foren now, and you, more specifically, are um, <clears throat> in the town of uh, Cyrinlia. And you're starting your trek 200 miles northeastward. Can I do one small thing before we go? Sure. Just I want to walk to the sea real quick. Okay. And just fill, just uh, fill up a small little vial with seawater. Okay, yeah, sure. To take with me on the general journey. Fair enough, fair enough. That's it. Your first day of travel goes uh goes pretty goes pretty swimmingly it's it's cold but you're you're you know you're you're dressed um appropriately and when you're about ready to to make a camp for the night you hear coming from some nearby um like frozen over forest forestry some kind of animal kind of just Heavy, heavy breathing. That sounds like a bird. Does it seem aquatic in nature? No. Cringe. Are there any footprints Dinner? or anything around in the snow? Is there anything else that would suggest wildlife nearby or just the sound? At this point in time, just the sound. Okay. Um... Do you want to I see mean... this? I mean, I kind of do, because it doesn't sound too threatening, but I think the sound of something that sounds injured and non-threatening will attract things that are threatening. So yeah. I also could see a dinner. case for avoiding it. But then we become something else's dinner, because it or other creatures also dinner think dinner it's dinner. But we're also planning I mean, we to... have plenty of dinner. we got loads of rations. We were planning yeah, we to dinner. camp down here, though, so we should probably check it out and make sure it's safe. I can send a Hari on over. Yeah, Ooh. that's like a good idea. Good call. And from the inside of my robes, I will pull out the white ferret. Okay. As you, you send the like... ferret to that check out the, <laughs> the origin of the sound, you see through his eyes it's a, small ferret. Anyway, white ferret. a griffin. A griffin. A griffin. A griffin with an arrow stuck in its in its wing that he's kind of pecking at. Oh my god, it's Dungeon Select Part 1. We befriend a griffin. Again, <laughs> befriend griffin. let's go! That was a hippogriff, oh. that wasn't it? That was, that was a griffin. Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Shit. Hippogriff's from Harry Potter. I will relay this to the group. Yeah. Whoa! A it griffin? Injured? I don't know. Dinner? Is this something oh, we want no. to be... Uh, what's the term? Not good with... Dinner. Cha charitable? How? Do we How... want to be... Charitable here, or do we want to take advantage of it? And how much do I know out? about griffins? And just like, are they nice? Are they not nice? Um, a over a fire. Oh. Make an intelligence check. Intelligence. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. You know that griffins aren't per se the most dangerous or hostile creatures out, unless they feel threatened. Okay. I mean, we could probably help it out. There's no need to do anything. It, it'd probably just hurt, you know? And I will start to go towards the sand. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll see if I can help it. And I think if we help it, I just think it's, it's, it could be drawing the attention of other more dangerous creatures. You probably want it to move on and stop making those noises ASAP. Do I know, do I know if Griffin's are like... We either help it or... Really we... intelligent or like dumb fucking chickens you know what i mean like are they like chicken or are they like semi fucking like um, sentient oh, dolphin. they're not the smartest yeah. of creatures they are pretty like instinctual rather than yes. like okay oh i'll i'll still go towards it like oh, we could probably help it and just you know help along well, its way because you also have to wonder who put the arrow there we they're probably around no we don't put unless of course its injuries are really bad then we put it out of its misery but until then we I can heal it. it. What do we have I to can heal it. What do we have to gain out of healing it? 
<laughs> we'll have to heal it. Just make sure, you know, just maybe it, it, then, we kill it. it likes us and it'll come back and rescue us in our time of need. I don't think it's like do a that. story. From, from what I hear, they're pretty, they're like chickens. They're just big oh. chickens. Oh, why but, would you, why would you like need chicken. something so they taste like chicken. in return? Anyway. No, you just need to help it out. There's no reason yeah. to kill it for no reason. Let nature well, take course, so we just help it out. How is that thing? any different from the hunting? Because it's, it's got hunting. an arrow in it. Yeah, most it's easier to hunt. hunt. And we've most got things food. things that we, we hunt end up with arrows Yeah, but now we, we have don't... more food. Are you don't volunteering to, to pluck it. it then if we kill it? Are you going to sit there and pluck this thing so we can pluck it? I will try Because I'm not doing that. Gonna... I will have my unseen servant pluck it. Um, no, you gotta oh. do it yourself. Don't be no. lazy about this. You gotta okay. do it by the book. And I'll start walking towards the noises. I mean, I'm gonna start walking towards the noises, but try and like fucking be head like, no, we're not. Like they're very much like, no, we're not killing it. God, mm -hmm. just leave it I'm alone. With but chicken. If no, we spare not this chicken. thing and we run out of food, so it's big chicken. Neswin's first on the menu. Neswin can make your <laughs> rations taste there's like a chicken. There's a frog right there, and I'm for. At this so, point, I, I, I would like to walk to Elias and just ask, so a griffin is a big chicken? <laughs> <laughs> You've never... I've been chicken? on the sea for, I've been on the sea for at least less than 10 years. It's like, um... It, it's similar to Chimera in nature, where it appears to be... Cross We're speaking a whole animals. different language to me, my friend. Imagine a lion and an eagle had a baby. Imagine a chicken. Big. A it's, big a, chicken. it's a lion with wings. That's a chimera. And a bird head. It's a chimera, not a. And you yes. called it a big chicken? Uh, <laughs> That's idiot. Chicken. What can I say? called it a big chicken. <laughs> yeah, a big chicken. Anyway, as we see the griffin. Oh my god. As you, you approach the griffin, thing. you can see that it's trying to fly himself up, but crashes again. It seems that the, the oh. arrow clipping his wing is. is Making it so that he can't fly, and he's trying like peck at it, but it's, it's a no I success. I will go up to it and try and be like, Stand "Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm kind of help. I'm here to help. Whoa! I'm gonna try and help you." Make an animal handling oh. check. Oh wait, wait! Uh, if I see him, he's gonna approach it. I would cast guidance first because okay. I want to make sure me? that Nesrin's okay. You get a D4 okay. to add to an ability check. Okay, D4. Okay, let's go, baby. Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, eleven. It like oh, just damn. like starts snapping at you as Whoa. you're trying to get close. Oh, I mean, I'm I just be like, uh, I swear I'm just here to help. We take yeah, a I'm, try, I'm gonna try like again, trying like grab the. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get. Why, doesn't, right there. why can't Elias use your unseen servant to pluck the arrow out? Because it won't see it and it won't attack it. That's true. Sure, we will be Is here it anything... for ten minutes while I cast it. Do I, I will mean... just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast a mage hand and use the mage hand to like pull the arrow out. Do I there see anything around that looks like it's like coming closer from this noise that's been made? Make a perception check. Natural twenty. No. Oh. So no this is just. This is it. Wait, you're so ca You're casting mage hand to try and yoink the arrow out of the out of the wing. Let me see how much, like, how strong, like, how much weight, or like, how much strength you can put Ten in the pool. Ten pounds? Yeah. Pretty sure. Mm. Or five? Ten. Ten, ten pounds, pounds, yeah. Right. You can't carry yeah. more than ten pounds. Okay, so while you're kind of, like, at distracting it now, Neswin, this mage hand approaches and just, in one, like, yoink, just pulls out the, the arrow, and in a response of shock, it kind of like the, the the griffin kind of flaps his wings, and immediately just flies up and darts out of there. Yay! We just be lost free. Them. If so you're that good. hungry, you can have an extra one of my rations. It's not the same. <laughs> if we see a smaller creature. Or if we see, if we get attacked by one of those tigers we're talking about, we can eat the tiger. Are there tire it tra tiger it tracks us. around? Make a, make a perception check. Okay. Oh no. So <laughs> bad, actually. Never mind. Uh, perception? Mm -hmm. Dirty 20. Not as far as you can see. Damn. Uh, we can't be here tonight. What time of day is it that we found this griffin? 
We're about to bed down. Oh, are we? Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. so, right? It was like pretty late. Yeah. Okay. This is like after your like first. Wait, is there any? Is there blood on the snow from the the injury of the griffin? Um, it seems to have like kind of like yeah, a little bit. Maybe we should just put maybe just one more extra like at least a few hundred meters between us and the blood for predators that track by scent. You are very paranoid about predators. I think we should be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take first watch. I'll take second, I guess. I'll take the third. There's a fourth. I'll take last. Uh, For the purposes of this and sake of brevity, your your night goes goes on without a hitch. You all long rest and are ready to start traveling. Your second day. And I stay up with uh, uh, Tazris, and while he's keeping watch, use my poisoner's kit to try and make some poisons. Sure. You need to make a check for that? Uh, let me quickly have a look. The poisoner's kit specifies that I... It lets me add proficiency to uh, ability checks to craft or use poisons. Okay. I don't specify what it'd be. Basic poison, I should. No, I'm just yeah. like what sort of check it would be. Basic poison. Um, we'll say that you have the you have you have the ingredients. I would think dexterity. Or yeah, for so basic you don't poison. poison yourself. I have poison this kit, so sure. I'm going to be the poison. Intelligence, so you don't fucking poison yourself. <laughs> it might be. It's up to Dutch what I need to roll, but I have Charisma. all the shit in theory with the kit. Charisma. I'd say uh, make a nature check. Nature? Ooh. Yep. Okay. Combining I'm not efficient in nature, but because yeah, I'm using natural ingredients kit. to try and craft something poisonous. So yeah, it's a nature check. I'm not proficient in nature, but because uh, but, um, I, I get to add poison right? Yeah. Okay, that is a. At 23. Yeah, you managed to, overnight, like during during this like these couple hours, craft a vial of just your basic poison. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Cool. I will give this to. I'll give it to Neswin. Okay. To tip some arrows with. Oh. Ah, uh, thanks! You can have three poison arrows. Three po- I will just- How long does it last if I apply them? Applying the poison takes an action. But how does it does that, that last? It retain, oh, retains potency for one minute, so at the start oh, of the fight. Okay, I'll take- Yeah, I'll, I'll remember to- It's an action to do, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I will keep that in mind, and I'll try and put them somewhere safe. So I don't fucking just pour it over myself. I'll just put it in, my it in the pocket next to his drinking flask. Put it in my drinking flask. No, I'm not that dumb. I'll, I'll put them just like in a spare pocket in my bag, or by my quiver. I did something useful. Did you? Give me just a second. That poison might be enough to kill something that would have killed us. It remains to be seen if it was useful. I changed my mind. I don't tell anyone that I made the poison. Slip it in the frog's oh. lunch. Joke's on you, I'm immune to being poisoned. True. <laughs> um... Are you immune to poison damage, though? Mm-hmm. Get fucked. Get fucked. Trick-ass And as we've bitch. now surpassed <laughs> ten days of traveling, I need to quickly make some rolls. I can make some rolls. We just hear a fucking massive explosion all day. <laughs> make some Does that rolls. sound like an avalanche to... I hear the bakery start up. Oh my god. Is that lava? <laughs> yeah. Great That's practice. suspicious. Don't if we get suspicious. lost, we could oh, definitely man. be heading towards lava. You know that. Yeah, I do. You don't. Yeah. Elias would know shit about fucking... No, I wouldn't. Across. No, it's cold. They don't fucking and put links in one of the famous 
There's Imagine literally colleagues of his. It's annoying. No, Wait, I want to become famous. To the southwest. I want to become famous. Hell yeah. Hook me up. Alrighty. So, with that said, your second day of travel, um, roughly forty miles into your journey, you reach the air. You reach the area known as Thin Sheets. And you get the idea why. Large bodies of water covered in like very thin sheets of ice, making it difficult for you to determine a path. To, to, to travel, which is safe, but it's it's between you and where you have to go. Um, for the sake of this, who is leading the charge here? No, no, I'll I'm be... second. I I'll, I'll be... I'll in... Okay. In terms of, like, man. going across this, or...? Going across this, short. yeah. Like, I'll who be thinks is best at finding a path oh. that is stable enough for you all to... Uh... Is anyone, I mean, is anyone proficient in, like, nature and survival and shit? I mean, I'm proficient in survival. Proficient in perception, that's about it. I'm pretty I'm good at um, nature and survival. I've got proficient. good survival. Oh, actually, I do I have good survival, too. I will assist whoever is... Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'll go is... up front then as well, because then if... At least if I fall in the water, or yeah. we fall in the water, it's not going to do anything. And I'm going to take a swig. This? Not me. Hmm? Who's leading? Towers or something? Uh, okay. wants to, I'll, Rav can. Yeah, I'll go first. I mean, like, okay. I'm going I'm going to go second and assist whoever's. Okay. Um, I'm going to be at the back and I'm going to take a swig of the flask before we walk out onto the ice. All right. So Fair enough. Gonna have resistance. an hour of uh, re uh, resistance against uh, cold damage. Mm. I'll be I, right. I will I'll be right in front of her and also ask for a uh, for a swig. Absolutely, I will happily share. All right. I'm going to look at Rav, knowing that Rav leading us, and cast Fortune's Favor. Oh yeah, what does that mean? Uh, within the next hour, whenever you make, uh, when you make an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw, uh, you can dismiss the spell to roll an additional d20 and choose which one to use. Ooh. It was basically like a point of luck with extra steps, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, with that said. Not luck, Rav, I would like favor. for you to make a survival check with advantage because Neswin is assisting you. Oh yeah, that is a uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. You find a uh, a path for you and your allies to take that makes it so that you you can hear the ice kind of like crack and you can like you know that that sound ice makes when like a crack just kind of like carries all the way across. You hear that a lot, but you manage to kind of maneuver your way without uh, anyone sinking through the ice. Thank God. And when you get across the initial part of this area, you look over and you realize, like, the next... You don't see an end to this thin sheets area. Like, it goes on for miles and miles and miles, so you gotta be on your toes at all times. But eventually, as the day progresses... Elias. Hello. You see in the distance an individual lost alone but someone familiar to you. Okay. You know that this individual is a mage Part of the Cerberus Assembly. Interesting. You're not sure why they're here, but they seem lost and alone. Is this like a recognition of I've seen them around at Cerberus, or is this someone I'm familiar with? This is someone like you've seen them around. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone else see that? I'm not seeing things. I don't see it. I will point it out to the others if I can. Yeah, and they now also see in the distance this like individual walking around alone. I 
think I know that person. Not, not well. Not like first name basis, but I've seen you them around. Something? Are they a good person? They yeah, do are... I see them as well or no? Yeah, at this point, you're saying. Goals will likely not be opposite of ours, and at the very least, it would be very good to have more people owe us favors. I mean, but like, are they properly trustworthy? Or are they gonna like backstab? Actually, what do I know about like people of? I don't know if you know that they are. I mean, I'm like Menagerie Coast based. I think mm -hmm. it's like where Nesman's probably from. It's from like an island off the Menagerie Coast, so. And she probably has like a very basic understanding of the empire rather than like mm -hmm. uh in detailed like unless but i think unless elias tells you you wouldn't know that they are part of the i wouldn't know Sony. yeah i wouldn't yeah i i know of the server selling but past that i just know they're so like that, one of the major elias players he wants to dis you know disclose that information or not yeah this one's just gonna be like well i mean if if you think they're trustworthy and it's worth doing it i mean we can but i mean it's up to you i mean we can get some help. I don't really trust anyone, to be honest, but... Do you know what I mean? Do you think they can help us, or do you think they'll just hinder us by being with us? I don't think they'll hinder us. Um, well, then let's go help them. Do I know if they're like a... Do I have any idea of their position with the Assembly? Like, are they well-respected? Are they grunt work? You're not sure. Okay. But you do um, have an idea of why he might be here. Yeah. <clears throat> I am, at the very least, don't be quick to trust, but it's likely that, I mean, the only reason anyone that I know would be out here would be to explore the ruins, and, and that surely means that there might be a chance that they could provide valuable information to us regarding where we're going, but just... You know when you know someone that, like, you trained with or worked with or have seen around within your hometown, and you know they're not clearly going to stab you in the street, mm -hmm. but you also don't know them well enough to trust them fully. Mm -hmm. This sort of situation, so. Not openly hostile, but keep an eye on things. I, I might just be paranoid at this point, who knows? Well, I'll just follow your lead. Uh, how far away is this individual? Uh, a little ways away still. And still on the thin ice? Yes. yes. Cool, I will right. start, like, moving us towards him then. As you get closer, he kind of looks at you and... Um, hello? I, um... I'm lost. Where, where are you trying to go? I need to get to Bail... I, I need to get to, to Bail and Post. Why are you out here alone? Well, I wasn't alone. And he kind of stops and looks at you. And his eyes, like, widen as he kind of, like, recognizes your fa you, you, you. Um. I was sent here to check out some ruins, and I had a team. We got ambushed. Uh. I'm the only one that survived, um, and I need to get to Balen Post immediately. And he kind of looks at you specifically, Elias, with like with the look of there's there's a rush behind what he's trying, what he's saying. Like there's there, it's time sensitive. Like it's important that it's he gets important, to where he needs to go. But he doesn't want to give too many details. Exactly. Okay. Has he got like a a pack, or is he like literally like? He has a, he has like a, a pouch, like 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 a shoulder bag kind of. Flag. Okay. Can we see any of his skin, or is he a, like pretty bundled up? Like he's very see? bundled up because it's cold as fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, but like basically, there's no. Like hint you see of his blue, face and that's blue about veins it. on his face at all. Not as far as you can tell. No. Okay. Um. You know where I mean. I'm. I'm I'm assuming you're familiar with the area. They wouldn't have sent you out here if you weren't. Yes, um, I've got a little turn around, but all I know is that I need to go south. But I've kind of lost 
where self is. Come on, I'm assuming like it's just blanket white everywhere. Mm-hmm. And... Is this sun up? Uh, it's it's in the it's it's, it's setting. Would you say that because I spent all those time on the sea, I could use the sun to see what direction the south is? Absolutely, yeah. And I would uh, do that and tell him which which way south. And he kind of looks at you and, and looks in that direction. Thank you, thank you. Um, I I I best get going. Like I said, I there's not a lot of time. I need to go. I I appreciate it. Um. I should be good to kind of trace the steps you made along the ice and not sink in, right? Sure. Yes, but... If what you're doing is important, do you really want to risk going alone? Yes. Well, wow. um, does he? Do you have all the supplies you need? I, I should be all right. Um, if it took us about a week to get to to get from Balen Post to where we were, so I have supplies for another two weeks. So I should be fine on to get back there. Where were you? Hmm. Where were you? Uh, nearby ruin, uh, not not too far. Do I now that I'm up close with him? Do I reckon? I, is there? I know that he's bundled up. Is there anything to give away? His is he just a mage, or is he uh, a scourger? Uh, he seems to just be a mage. Okay. Um. Is there anyone of? Reasonable rank at Bail and Post that I can contact for you. I'm not a Bail and Post, no. The only thing I know is that I have to deliver a package that we acquired um, to an individual there, and that's all I know. All I've been told. Um. Does he seem? Armed in any way, like physically? Um, he seems fine. He seems a bit, uh, like he said, he, like he told you that his team died in an ambush and he's the only survivor, so he seems, he seems, he seems a bit shaken because of that, but physically he seems fine. He's just very, like, gotta get shit done. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to beckon him closer and cast Fortune Saver on him. Okay. Oh, that was nice of you. Thank you, and um, perhaps we'll meet again. Give him a nod, and I guess watch him go, because we're getting ready to bed down for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, as he kind of leaves your, uh, your your field of view, you find a little plot of land, which, assumedly at some point in this body of water, was a small island, which you deem... Uh, you're not going to sink through ice during your night rest, at least. Oh... I don't know. I just said cool. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you said ooh. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Get it okay. cool, because we're... Um, in and again, for the sake of brevity, your your night goes by fine. It is cold. It is uncomfortable. Uh, you, the more days you spend kind of like on land, on one side makes you appreciate, uh, you know, life on the seas. Maybe it's not that, you know, maybe maybe this, this whole being on land thing isn't what people make it out to be. But on the other hand, it, it's... It's an experience you've never had before, and it's, you know, it's it's not the worst. It's also not the best, but it's not the worst. Um, it is, so It is very, very cold here. So it is. It doesn't, very, very it doesn't help. Yeah, it's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> and now for your third day of travel. Um, goes by without a hitch. You find another place to put your head down. Easy, easy as pie. I'm gonna quickly do the math here. Bollocks. Uh, Should have got that dude's name. There we go. Bollock. You didn't smile. I know. <laughs> and then Fine, after a couple more, and after a couple more days, you're roughly halfway on a, on your journey. 
Okay. Imagine this whole time stream like singing like songs, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Just try and keep us like and up. And you find among the snow a very large, three foot tall egg. Oh, oh snow. whoa! I'm not for breakfast, lads. No, it could be like the not type of you know like not all I build chicken it. No, no, chicken eggs are like actual eggs. They have like chicks inside them, so they don't like, count. That's fair. Um, can I try to pick I, it up? Can I try and tell what it. sort of egg it, it is? Touch it, touch it. Make a nature oh, check. Uh, make a strength check. Okay. All right, yeah. guys. Do we think this out of character? Do we think this is important? No. Why well, uh, don't ask us out of character? That's that's not what matters right now. True. True. <laughs> okay. In oh, that case, don't think this can, is important. Can I, can I go up and just try and not like touch it, but get my ear close to the egg? Does it sound like anything like moving inside? I like we should interfere it? with nature. I don't want to. I just want to see. I just. Not you. The one picking it up. Is already in process of picking it up. Yeah. Oh. What is, what is your roll, Soko? Sixteen. Yeah, this is a a fifty ah. pound egg. Fuck. Pick it up. It's heavy. I don't want. I'm like backing up just in case. What did you roll for your nature check? Uh, Lance? Also sixteen. Sixteen. I was debating whether or not to chrono shift it. You recognize this to probably be some kind of dragon egg. Oh, we're taking it. We're taking it. No, put it oh up. my god. <laughs> this is a dragon egg. We should stay the fuck Sell away it? from it. No, no we get away. No. Because it's a if, yeah. If How this is a dragon gonna... egg, okay, something laid this egg. If something laid this egg, it's probably going to be coming back for this egg. And, we and, get and the died, fuck out of here. Now it's ours. And how are That's you going to carry that something that is 50 pounds and we're probably going to be fighting, again, animated suits of armor and things? It it's going to break. You're just going to break the I'll egg the and front. kill the thing living It'll inside it. I'll just leave it at this point, you just walk ten steps back. Also, if we have to yeah, flee, okay. walk. I'm, like, I'm, I'm getting way in front of chickens, dragons. Flee, <laughs> if we have to flee anywhere at any speed, you think you're moving anywhere fast with this? I can this? throw it. You want to take a dragon egg, you're free. You're just, you're but when Mama Dragon it. turns back up, I'm going to leave you for dust. Nez, yeah, Nez I will is... let Mama Dragon eat you. Because Nesman is so loud. Nesman's walking away, but he sounds the same because he's just such a yes. fucking loud mouth. So it's just like, we should leave it alone! <laughs> it's like when you're talking to someone that's not paying attention, like, I'm going yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, okay, time to go. And literally, Nesman is backing off with fucking. With, <laughs> with Hughes yeah, there, like, he's Elias like, we should really... the fuck out of there. I'm, I'm, doing that thing. Thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, trying to cover, I'm, cov I'm covering up my tracks as we go. We like, can I'm have Dragon and like, Frog <laughs> moving over the foot. I, I am scanning the horizon looking for any sign of movement. Okay. Okay. Make a perception Bring check. Bring me the horizon, dude. Mm. Uh, perception check. <laughs> I'm going to chrono <laughs> shift this because that was a natural three. <laughs> and I'm terrified. Hi, terrified. Uh, perception. Ooh, 13. 13? You look around and nothing gives you the idea that there is a dragon nearby. Somehow Elias is even more terrified. Do we seem to be in a nearby. nest of some kind? No. It's just what white the egg? open snow and then a dragon Yeah, egg? there's just this random egg, which apparently some kind of dra Shit, draconic in nature. What color is the egg? Nice the entire nest. What color is, is the it? egg? Yeah. White. Hmm. You're fine. Like an egg would be. <laughs> like, would you, say was, would you say it was eggshell white by any chance? Yes. <laughs> mm. Do, That's kind of a cringe answer, DM. <laughs> would would I'm Elias gonna say know whether or not uh, the egg color is indicative of the dragon color? I would assume Wouldn't it's a white born, dragon because we're in a wintry place. There's some significance there, yes. Uh, it's a white dragon. This is an evil creature. We stay the fuck away from this shit. Yeah, what about you? Start what do you think? You. Sailor Man, yes, what do you yes, think? I mean, I think you're all stupid still standing around the egg. I'm Thank next you. to you. Because I, I, I already walked back. <laughs> I'm literally next I'll, to you. I'll like, oh. and you backed off and the rest of you guys are still just like yeah. bickering around this fucking I'll dragon I'll say this. <laughs> you take that I'm egg, dragon. we are not slowing our travel. So if you fall behind, you get left behind. And you take that egg and Mama Dragon shows up. We're right, leaving you to fight her by yourself. And just follow Hugh. What if we return egg? 
Return egg to where? What? The There are stories of white dragons setting no ambushes for people. There are stories of white dragons keeping people frozen as trophies. Yes. We do not want anything to do with this. Very anything that very hatches vengeful. out of this is going to be a murder machine that is going to a breathe on us machine. in our sleep and eat us like frozen street food. We get the fuck out of here. Frozen street food? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I like, thought, like Korean food, street market food, but it's just ice poles. The okay. literal well, description yeah, of a question. white dragon is an animalistic predator with of single-minded ferocity. Meaning, if this egg has been stolen already and is missing, that bitch is fucking hunting it down with no nothing yes. else in yeah. mind. What's a Going for it. What, DM, would I be able to keep up the pace we've been going at with the egg? Yes, you would be. No, Would we be able to yes? move faster if we were trying I, I to get away honest, from- I gotta be honest, Belle, okay? I got 20 <laughs> strands, you know what I mean? I'm pretty buff, dude. I have to okay. be honest. Counterpoint. No, just lie! <laughs> if, if, if Tazris was carrying an egg, would we be able to outpace him by running the fuck away from him? Good luck running in snow that's like knee height, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking egg We just down. do it in the thing that- like, We're making ground, boys! Okay. <laughs> Don't down. worry, guys. I'm gonna cast. Could, uh, I'm gonna cast yeah. comprehend languages at some point and just talk in Draconic and be like, "Yo, I he's we take, uh, it as take far him." As no, we just leave it. Just, just leave it alone. It's nature. <laughs> You're the only one that wants it. If you want to bring it, you walk sixty feet behind the rest of the group, yep. or as far as visibility allows. All you stay right. a you stay okay. a whole co cold breath away from us. At all times, a whole okay. cone of gold. And if at any point that dragon egg even moves, we drop it in the snow. Agreed. We cover Carefully. it over and we run away. Okay. I would just, I would just look at him and just say, if you really want to take it, take it. But you cannot take it on the ship. Oh. So you have, oh, you oh, have. God. Oh no. They won't let just you get because that's a target. Bring oh, danger to the ship, in. and you have to deal with me. Um, yeah. can I look around to see if anything's, you know, on the horizon? Get it, Hugh. Just get perception it. check. Everyone's making me nervous. No Good. one touches my ship. As we fucking should be. Nothing gives you the impression that you should be scared right now. Are you okay. To make I will just lie. I'm telling the truth. I would like to use prestidigitation stealthily okay. to make it sound like there's just a very. Oh, so I want it to be behind Tazrin. And I Tazris? just want it to be like. Get it right? Fight me. Jeez. Um, I want it to just sound like a very distant flap of wings. Roll a slight of hand check. Isn't Word that thaumaturgy, not, not prestidigitation? That yeah, I don't would think do prestidigitation. That? No, prestidigitation can create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect, such as faint musical notes, a puff yeah. of wind. Okay. Oh, fair, okay, okay, fair, 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 fair. fair, fair, fair. Uh, slight of hand. Yes. 17. Um, make another perception check, uh, Tazarus. Okay. Seventeen. Fourteen plus three. Exactly the same as what I rolled. Fuck. I know. Uh, I'm not enough of a cunt to chrono shift you. So, <laughs> so I mean, yeah, because you're doing something that makes seventeen to DC, right? That he has to be. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. 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 So like, you hear this flap. You hear this like sound. But you also see Elias as ah, it happens. Tricky, tricky. You have good eyes. I don't know what his accent's become. He, um, said, he says he facing the so wrong much. direction to where Elias is. I have good eyes. <laughs> I have good eyes. Right. on you. I was using fucking uh, you know what? mirror Let's image just... the entire time. <laughs> I'm just following Neswin. I'm gone. I'm already starting to put that distance between me and oh, yeah. Tazris. Because I'm just not... Oh yeah. Also, yeah, I know. I try to shout back. By the way, you also camp by yourself every night. Can't camp with us. <laughs> you can't sit with us. You can't sit with us. We only wear pink on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Megan, I can't sit anywhere. I have I dragon have hands. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll step my like sixty feet behind the party and then follow after him. There is my dragon egg, kind of caressing it, and I'm like talk to it the whole time. <laughs> Telling right. how pretty it is and how much money it's going to make You continue your adventure the next few days. All right, Gollum. Not being attacked oh, by Lord. dragons. Yet. 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 Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Tazarus, Ooh, paranoid motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. About three days into your journey with the egg. Oh, yes. 
Mm. You're starting to notice it's... And he's still 60 feet behind us. You're starting, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're starting to notice it's move and wiggle. You can, you can hear, it like, a, you it, can hear like, a, like a tap, a tapping sound coming from inside it. I'm gonna tap back. No! <laughs> make an animal... Make a dragon's no, learn morse. Make a... Make a... Yeah, fuck it. Make an animal handling check. Morse, like... Okay. So I get not yet too soon. <laughs> Guys, the, I can't the... not do it. Dutch gave me a red button, okay? What's the no, uh, Morse code for Don't Eat Us? Uh, 13. 13? <laughs> yeah. It responds back to you and kind of starts, every time you tap, it starts mimicking your taps. Yo, that's sick. Yo, Tazra's gonna be a mama? <laughs> He's gonna be Daenerys? <laughs> or a snack. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep tapping back with it, because it's okay. fun. Right. And we we don't know because we're sixty feet yeah, away, so we can't, yeah. <laughs> we can't do shit. We can't do shit. I'm not allowed to come near you, so that's fine. If by the time it mo killed him and moved, 60 it hatches and we'll eats gone. you as its first meal. We'll just keep going. Everyone, every other animal when they hatch imprint. Dragons when they hatch eat the first thing they see. Um, no, and fine. on the eighth eighth day of your journey, mm -hmm. um, I would like. Oh, Ravamorn to make a survival check. And sure to one oh, oh yeah, the one. ice. And I give it advantage because I'm always oh, like yeah. helping out. Yes, yes uh, I'm gonna be whenever Rav's guiding us through somewhere treacherous using fortune's favor. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use fortune's favor. I mean, I mean, I gave you advantage. Oh yeah. You, okay, you have advantage from him, and then if yeah. you want, you can roll another dice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna roll three then. Oh, yeah. One, two, four. Uh, 19. You start finding tracks. And you follow the tracks. The tracks seem a smaller creature. But eventually, after a journey of three hours following these tracks, you've made it. You found the Sal's Vault. Once a, lab uh, once a laboratory in the city of Aeor, where mages who specialized in certain schools of magic crafted constructs, now nothing but ruins partially submerged. Through wind-whipped snow and biting cold, you notice a half-submerged dark blue stone building poking up through the ice. A grey stone door is carved to look like a face with a half-exposed skull. Scribed above the door is the word Sal's Vault. A we made it. Those skull. I will That's kind either of either at some point in the last few days because I forgot I forgot to say this, mm -hmm. um, or like just now before we like we if we see it like in the distance and it's sort of coming up to it, mm -hmm. I kind of want to take Elias to one side. Okay. Um, and just be like um. Room in the ice. No, I know <laughs> I know that you like really. Me. No, I know you like really like this stuff, Elias. This Aor, I know that's like. You're really intrigued it, but just remember why we're here, okay? And don't get too caught up in the awe and the excitement. I know I it's going to be difficult because it, it's really exciting. I'm with you. Like, it's exciting, <laughs> but, like, just don't... Just remember why we're here, okay? And don't don't put yourself or, or you know... Maybe just don't put yourself in danger, but also don't put us in danger, please. If you, like, you know, get caught up in writings and stuff, just be careful. Only, don't get too greedy. I know it's Tesla. Hello. <laughs> if there was one thing you could do. Yep. Like one thing that you've always wanted to do or you've always strived to do. I cook really well. What if I told you that the level of magic within these ruins, that's a trivial attempt. <clears throat> well, I would say um, that there's plenty of time to come back here. And this, you know, we got a quest in the moment, and you could, you could come back again, and, you know, just say, just you can, look at things and take like one or two things, but like, remember one or two, not seven or eight. That's all. <clears throat> just you know, a couple, a couple of things to to you know, get rid of the itch, but don't like you know, completely consume yourself with it, because I. I, I got a sense earlier that when we when we talked about this place, you know, before we left, that you seemed a bit a bit too intrigued than the uh, the rest of them. And I know you like Aor. Large majority of the magic that I specialize in stems from Aorian research. 
Well, so then just take one or two books and learn that. You don't need a whole library at first. They'll take ages to read. Harry. There might be infinitely powerful items here. And there might be infinitely dangerous ones too in the same vein. But you do you. I'm just I'm just asking you politely as someone who cares about you. Just ask that, you like, a question. Just try not to get obsessed with it all and only take like one or two things and not try and resurrect the whole of Aeor over like this or trying to learn like ancient magic straight away. Baby steps. You know, don't try and leap over a chasm before you know how to actually walk. <clears throat> okay, just making sure don't want to get you hurt. I pat on the back and walk away. <laughs> Elias is absolutely zoned out at this point. Yeah, yeah, smile on his face. Nezu thinks he's in a great fucking job. Um, as you approach <laughs> the sealed door, there's people in your party that have a passive perception of 13 or higher, right? Uh... Not yeah. me. I have 14. I have a 14. All right. I have 13. 13. 13. So those who have 13 or higher, you notice two ice methods, which are like, kind of like icy imp, oh, icy yeah. imps, icy wings, small body, and like claws, kind of hiding near the entrance. What do you do? I don't know that. that. I probably can't see him because I'm 60 feet away. I alert You're them to the group. I alert not alert them. I alert the group of them. Yeah, and but like, guys, guys, be, be careful. There's there's things up ahead. Do I know what ice methods are? That's not just fucked up. Um, I mean, you're a fucking smart dude, yeah. As the resident smart boy. Yeah, you know that these are like small ice elementals that kind of resemble imps in a way, uh, in their in their physique, but also in the fact that they uh, seem to feed off cold. Cold seems to fuel them. It's it's their it's their nutri it's their like way of. Surviving is just by I'm gonna feeding. take a swig. Are they intelligent creatures capable of communication, or are they just? Um. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay. Like, not cool. super intelligent, but they can communicate. Yeah. I'm gonna take Very a swig of my flask and it's... offer it around to the group. Uh, if we drinking, we drink together. No, just... Are they? Are they fiendish? <laughs> no, they're elementals. <laughs> okay, they're elementals. Would I know what languages they speak? You're pushing it. <laughs> you can say no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying. You're pushing like, it. Like that's about all you know. Okay, that's fine. I'm not asking for you to be like yes. No. I'm asking for like the info. Um. Like, judging by the fact that they are elemental creatures and they look like they are completely made out of ice, you hazard a guess that they speak Aquan as one of their languages. But that's all you really like. That's that's an educated guess, and that's about all you or think you know. We have a little bit of time to just chill out for a moment. I mean, yeah. I mean, I could cast Comprehend Languages, and then when we go forward and pretend that we haven't seen them, we can see what happens. But... I mean, if you think it'll work, or we can just shoot them from afar. Like and don't violence. They're not entirely instinctual. They are capable of some rational thought, and therefore they might not immediately be a threat. Well, if you can communicate with them, I can't look at the rest of the group. I won't be like... able to, but I'll be able to at least eavesdrop on them. Well, that works. I can, I can take the ten minutes to cast it now, or I can just cast it now, but then after we've got this door open and dealt with them, whether peacefully or not, I'm going to need a rest. I again look at the group and see what the group say. Do we I think they're going to stay? Why are we stopped? Shut stay up. back. <laughs> Just Silence. Get out of there. Silence, wench. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we think that they're going to attack us if we sit here for ten minutes? No, I'm oh, sure only they, they see us. I'll keep a lookout. Have kind they of seen like... us? I'll knock an arrow and just kind of keep looking at them and just be like, I'll, I'll keep guard, I'll keep look. You, I'm just going to commit mean, to it. I mean, you've been standing well, here since for a while taking, now. Since he's taking 10 minutes, I'm mm -hmm. going to go back, walk back to where Tazris is and be like, all right, I'm, I'm we're not. about to go inside here. I think for now you need to leave the egg out here and you can get it on your way back if you really want to. But I don't think you can 
You can't, I don't think you'll be able to stay 60 feet away from us once we go inside. But it, while we're in there. Well then, great. It can run away. Not using as just like kind of looks at it sadly, and then like makes like a little snow bed for it and lays Aww. it down. Aww. Aww. Gives a little tap, 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 tap. No. Are kicking and in. then walks back. As you to the tap group. tap it, you can hear it like back at you. I I, I jump him and go. What the fuck was that? It's my buddy. His name is Calvin. Oh God. Calvin Klein. No, it should be Kelvin because that's at a scale of temperature. That's smart. Oh. That's clever. That's very clever, actually. We nice. drown this thing, right? That's too clever for Tapper's Anyway, story. whatever. We'll, whatever. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what the egg situation is when we're back. For now, we need to right. go get the thing. Let's go. I'm not going to spend 10 minutes here because Elias is paranoid. Uh, I'm going to use a spell slot to cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. And we're going to walk forward and pretend like things are normal. Okay. As you walk forward, you... Oh, wait. Before we start walking, can mm -hmm. I... Because I know I'm not stealthy cast guidance on myself, hoping it'll help me find the right places of ice to step on so I don't make any extra loud noises. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, For one minute. Wait, are we going stealthily? I don't know. The problem with being stealthy is if we well, see Well, no, it, I, no I just say, I'm just saying I know them. I'm not, so if I need to be, I'm casting guidance okay. preemptively. I'm not saying... Okay. Did we want to stealth this on the risk that if it fucks up, then they'll know that we're trying to hide from them? Or do we just pretend that do we stuff. haven't seen them? <laughs> Whatever. I say we just pretend that we haven't seen them and like if yeah, they say to each out. other, "Hey, let's stab these guys in the back," I'll unhear it and understand it and turn around and shoot them. Okay, okay, okay I get cool. it. I get it. I get it. That was fair. All right. So you walk, you approach the door, and as you do, you can see that the entrance to the salves vault is frozen shut. Okay. Um. So you're you're you you see that this is the only way in, and as you, kind of walk past where the ice methods are hiding, uh, Elias, you kind of hear them whisper to each other. As soon as they find a way to break open the door, we follow them in and feed on the frigid woe. Okay. Um, so you get the language? sense that they want in there because they know that the frigid woe is in there and they use that as sustenance. What language did, did uh, they speak again? Uh, this was Aquin. Aquin, that, that, that is... Primordial, right? Sorry? Primordial? It's it's an primordial? elemental language. Uh, it's, it's not prim, pri, it's not the same as primordial, but it is... Uh, it's derived from it. It's derived from it. Would I understand? Because I, I do speak uh, primordial. Do, can no, I get the gist like, of it, or is it just... Uh, it's like... It's like, um, kinda it's like, like how a, a lot of languages in like... Um, you know, a lot of languages, you know, so like Italian and those languages are all like somewhat all right. derived from a Latin. Romance language. You know, like it's like right. you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know. Mm. Or like how my right. like my my Good parents enough. were fluent in German, but then they lived in Switzerland, so they learned Swiss German. If you go try to talk to someone from actual Germany, it's a whole different thing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna and motion to German. the group and start like. Good enough. Uh, do can I if I? We know where they are, right? They're hiding. Correct. Uh, would I have line of sight on them if I turn around away from the door? Yeah. Okay. Um, I turn around and arbitrarily choose whichever one looks uglier. And There's one, uh, like, fat-looking one with, like, very, way too <laughs> tiny wings, and then there's one super skinny one. Like the gargoyles. Oh, for the part one, it might be an easy know. target. I'm going to fireball him. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, it's cringe. Roll attack. Natural 20. Or like the Sorry? Hercules. Natural 20. Okay. Go off, queen. Uh, so that'd be a 28 to hit. But... Yeah. Uh, 14 points of fire damage. Mm, it's 28 points of fire damage because they're vulnerable. <laughs> oh. uh, and you just melt. You were, you're hitting the fat guy? Yeah. He just instantly melts. Poor and as you do be. that, the other ice method just looks at you and just fucks off. <laughs> he's, he's running. I'm going to shoot him away. in the back with a fireball. Huh? I'm gonna hit him in the back with a fireball. That's for sure, one time. That's kind of mean. Yeah, Elias is kind of an asshole, and he has proven yeah, this dude. multiple uh, times. Yeah, dude. How many times they came out of the party? Fifteen mm -hmm. hits. Uh, eight points Eggman. of fire damage. Eggman. So sixteen. You kind of like hit him, and you can see that part of his body starts to melt, but he's still like flapping away, and he's, he's yeah, he's gone. Anyone else kill it? Oh shoot, a fireball at it. Okay, roll attack. I guess. Like rain on slot, just like ugh. Okay. there is logic behind it. He's not just being a. I can hit it with the crowbar. 
18 to hit. Uh, that, that, that range. <clears throat> How much damage did it? One. One to ten. Uh, nine. So 18, because they're vulnerable. Yeah, this guy also just melts, and that's that. Uh, they were going to wait for us to open this door, and then come in and feast on the frigid oh. wall. Lovely. I'll get you rid of that problem. Anyway, well, door yeah. frozen. Shall we hurry so we can get back to Calvin? <laughs> no, let's take a long time. Hopefully it hatches and leaves. Um... <laughs> this door's frozen. Do we want to bust it down, or do we want to try and melt it. it? Or okay, that works. You kick it. Wait, does it go inward or does it come outward? So you if know. it goes outward, yeah, I mean, it's just a block of ice at the moment. It's, it's, so a, we don't it's know. just a frozen over door. Is it right push now? or yeah, pull, I'll, I'll or, this, it. or is this or is it a swing I'll across? It. Make a straight about to break his foot. Oh wait! I have to hobble while carrying a dragon egg. His foot gets stuck to it. Uh, just straight strength. Mm -hmm. Uh, dirty twenty. 30, 20, uh, you kind of break the ice and the ice immediately starts shattering and now there is just a door. <laughs> okay, before it's we locked. open this door. Ah, fuck. That does appear locked to you, yes. I, I, I wouldn't uh, mind taking a short rest right now because I can regain some of my spell slots. But I mean, I'm fine. Other than that, like, I'm not terrible. I'm very cold. Huh? Like, Two thirds oh. of my spell capacity, but I think it'd be fine. I mean, if what are we gonna find here? They're ruined. We die, I blame. Have we heard about like if there's creatures? Well, we've heard that yeah, animated too far, or, uh, yeah, among other things. Well, I mean, a lot of be... things that my magic doesn't work on. I mean, you'll be you'll be fine, right? Two two thirds is still pretty good. These shot got us. Out. And it's also really well. I don't know how cold it is because I kind of don't feel it as much, but it seems cold. Red flags, but okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know water, dude. It's Sushi's cold. always best kept frozen. Excuse me? <sighs> <laughs> so. Uh, I... Yeah, so does it appear to be like a uh, uh, like uh, <laughs> lock or like an actual lock in the door? Uh, it's, 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 it's a locked door. Like it seems that, that there's a lock mechanism inside. I the door. will, with, with Tazra's next to me, I'm going to do the, the, the shake pull, like the shake see is it a pull is it a push and then go for the like slide across like if anything happens it's like it seems to be a pull a push door like but it's it's like i said it's locked it is locked, it is locked. Okay. okay i will uh use my thieves tools okay i don't know why i have them but i have them so yeah. fuck it send fuck it. it you picked them up somewhere it's, yeah you stole them. Did, the dude. irony of stealing your thieves tools oh, yeah. i just grabbed them one day i mean yeah just make a make let's just make a dexterity yeah. check uh uh, do do that is a dirty 20. No, sorry, 18. My bad. Yeah, you managed to uh, bypass the lock and the door just... Because of the way the this building is positioned, it's kind of like the east side of the building. You're, currently, you're coming in from the west. The east side mm -hmm. of this building is submerged in water and it, that also makes it so that this, this crashed building kind of tilts a little bit. So there's a, little, a small slope. Ooh. As soon as you open the lock, the door immediately like kind of like falls open in a way. Like it's not super steep, but it's definitely steep enough to... You know, for Little gravity block. to just pull the door open for you, essentially. Once you right. unlock it. Uh, do we go do in? I know anything about this place? No. Other than that there was half a skull sticking out on the ground, and that's incredibly ominous. No, th that was on the door. Like, that is yeah. uh, depicted on the door. Part of the door. The door is a half a skull. Yeah, I mean, you're not, you don't really know. Like, there's so, so many things that you don't know about a I'm a lot of torch and go in. All right. Uh, as you ask. kind of open the door, or the door opens, you notice that... The room ahead is lit up by like these purplish balls of light that kind of just like hang around in corner in the corners of the room. Can I try to grab one? Your hand just goes straight through them. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh what do is what's in the room? Uh, in this room. Heavy stone walls of this room, damp and cold, and the howling wind outside. Um, you see an inscription in what looks like draconic, carved into the east wall. <gasps> Does that mean I can read it? Like those I, say. Yeah. I can read it. 
Um, you notice that the inscription is a very archaic version of Draconic that was spoken in ancient Aeor. Uh, you can read it uh, after you take a few minutes to kind of like make sense mm -hmm. of it all. Mm -hmm. um, the message reads, Welcome to Sal's Vault. Visitors, please wait here for an escort. Do not touch anything without permission. And the last part is all caps. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I chuckle and then just tell the group what it says. Just because, yeah, this was, I guess, a an actually fairly, not popular, but a busy place back in the day. Back in, like, the heyday of Aeor. The so, second yeah. Ferris says, do not touch anything, I stare straight at Elias, quick, like, just glance at Elias, and look <laughs> back. Like, wide, that wide I'd like. I can't look back. <laughs> you said there's a door at the far end as well? There is two doors. One oh. on the north side of the room, one on the south side of the room. So one to your left and one to your right, essentially. Coming in from the west. Uh, left or right? Eeny, meeny, my right. mo. Got it. I open the right door. Okay, the right door does open. <laughs> and as you look into the room, also lit up, right. you can see stone tables lie in pieces on the floor at the east end of the room. Two open stone chests stand against the stand against the west against the west wall. A layer of fine sand coats the inside of the chests and the floor around them. What color is this sand? You said fine sand coats the floor? Just just like a, like a sand okay. color. So making is sure it's not blue. It's a rough would be bad. Is there anything else in them, or just empty uh, chests? Make a make a make a perception check. Natural one. You don't see anything. You see two chests that are empty. And I'll play sand. a peekaboo with the chest. It's fine. What you do notice is that the chests are like built into the floor. That's the only thing you really. Is, it, is there, like, a ceiling, or is it, like, cracked shit? There's a ceiling above you, yeah. Okay. Anything on that, or is it, like, no. pretty... It's about ten foot, 10 foot high. Okay. Oh. Kind of, I just stay alert and kind of wait to see if... And do we go to the other room? Uh, I mean, there is also uh, another door in this room. Oh. I mean, there's another door here. I mean, we've chosen this path, right? <laughs> so we might as well continue on it. Just be careful, maybe just see if there's any traps. I, I, like, give it a once-over and then just open the door. You open the door? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is where we all die. Open the door, and as you walk into the room, you can see pieces of rusty plate armor scattered around the chamber amid the rubble of destroyed stone furniture. An anvil built into the floor stands in front of a cold furnace to the southwest. Across the room from the furnace, two humanoid feet stick out of a pile of rubble. Ooh. You also Ooh. notice that two full suits of steel armor stand upright but empty in the middle of the chamber, their oh, gleaming surfaces are star a stark contrast to the rusty pieces lying nearby. Um, oh, and I those like are probably the things. To roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. they shit. immediately see shit. us. Yep. Well, that's cocked as fuck. Uh, I'm oh. sad. Oh, I'm sick. Hi, I'm sick, boys. I didn't, <laughs> uh, this might be my worst initiative. Of... Oh yeah, you got twenty-seven, huh? No, it's it's legitimately the worst it could be. Oh, twenty-seven. <clears throat> Ethan still going to go fucking third. Okay. Well, first of all, I didn't, I didn't like cast <laughs> any askers. I, I didn't get a chance to cast alacrity on myself. No. No, no, that wasn't a question. That's just a statement. First oh, of all, I didn't. Sorry. And secondly, <laughs> I got a natural one. Ah. Okay, so initiatives 20 plus, please. Natural 20. Natural 20, all right, my boy. Nice. Taz Riss goes first, no matter what, all right. Uh, anyone else 20 plus? Oh. All right, 15 to 20. 15. I got 16. Woo. Is that 15, Quaver? Yeah, 15. Okay. 16 <laughs> for Faerius, 15 for Neswin. And 15? 14. 14. Oh. oh, which one of you has a higher dex? I have plus two. two. I have plus one. Well, okay, so you goes first. Twinsies! Then Rav. Um, you roll a nat one, Ethan? Yeah, nine total. Nine to I mean, that's still fucking... Yeah. Alright. 
You still go last, though, so I'll get fucked. Yeah. As you should. Um, Tazrix, so you're first, and these two, like, animated suits of armor just, like, immediately turn to face you. What do you do? Uh, are they holding weapons? Um, they are not. They're just... Do they have weapons on the ground near them? No. Oh, it's terrifying. Dark shit. Uh, um, okay. Well, first, I'm going to use my... What the fuck is it called again? Giant's Might. And grow large. All right. Large. And then uh -huh. I'm going... Hmm, do I... I'm going to try and grapple the suit on the left. Whichever okay. one that may be. Uh, go for it. Yeah, fuck it. Athletic I... Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to do this. Uh, I roll a natural 20. Uh, uh fuck you, couldn't. <laughs> I rolled so, two fifteens. So I'm sorry, but uh, you failed to grapple the armor. All right, that's my turn. All righty. Yikes. Favorus. Ah, uh, go for the one that Tazrus didn't try and grapple. Gonna try and smash it with my mace and see if I can dent the armor at all, or for how it reacts to that. Oh, fuck me. That's not good. That's a thirteen to hit. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Nope. Okie dokie. Uh, then... Oh, I should have done... Oh, I'm done. I should have done that first. Cool. Mm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, spells. Bonus action. It's a bonus action. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Yeah. And uh, you also get an attack with it immediately, so... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and Go it'll just it. appear behind. And I'm going to make it... What am I going to I'm going to make the weapon... Look like a fiery sword, even though I know it's not actually fiery, but mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. Know, cool. Fuck them up. Okay. Um, I still have to roll to hit with that. Right. That's a d12. Let's not roll that. That's not gonna help me at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Nineteen to hit with that the hits. spiritual weapon. That hits. And it deals five points of radiant damage. Radiant damage. All right. Very good. As as the spirit shop kind of slams into the back of this the suit of armor, you can see kind of like a, a faint like flicker, as uh, as the magical aura that seemingly is keeping this armor animated definitely took a, took a, took some damage there. Like took uh, I'm just gonna shout out, try radiant damage if you can to the group. Okay, okay and I'm done. Nes win. Just gonna. I'm gonna back up a little bit, so I'm like not, you know, fully in the line of fire. Or everything, and I'm just gonna fire my longbow. Shoot, Wolf bow. Uh, that is a uh, twenty-three hit. Uh, which one are you attacking? Ah, uh, the further one away. The one that hasn't is the one that hasn't been attacked yet, or whatever. The one, the one, there's one that uh, Tazris tried to grapple, and there's one that just got slammed. By the one that got tried to, the one that got tried to do the what? Uh, that, that does hit. Yeah. Uh, seven points of damage. Mm, very nice, very nice. And again, as your arrow impacts, you can see this like flicker of light as as it seems that the magical energy protecting this armor is 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 taking a hit there. Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Yep. You. Um, I'm just gonna cast mage armor on myself. Nice. And that's it. Okie dokie. Uh, Ravenborn. Uh, I'm gonna fireball one of the suits of armor, I guess. Okay, go for it. Which one? Um, the one on... Whichever. I don't really have a preference. Okay. Everyone looks at her funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Nine fire damage. Nine fire damage? Yeah. Uh, just judging by the time. Any objections for us going on a little longer to finish up the adventure? Uh, no. Nope. Anyone nope. have any... Nothing. No. They, like, need to... I need to know what happens to Calvin. So, I mean, yeah. it, just, it just means I... James is now in charge of dinner instead of me. 
Okay. Well, oh, what a shame that must be for you, Laura. <laughs> oh, no. Like, if that is not well, a problem uh, for anyone, because uh, we're definitely going to go off time a little bit here. Just uh, that's, FYI. That's fine. Let James not oh, cook in the hot tub. Okie dokie. Uh, or do. Um, that was your turn, Ravenborn? Just don't make those. Yep. All right. Uh, the suit of armor that is now engaged with Tazris is going to multi-attack it. Or multi-attack Tazris and just two fists just <laughs> start slamming at you. Um, natural 17 plus 421 to hit on the first one. And a natural 20 on the second one. So I'm assuming both hit Tazarus. He's not paying attention. Togo! Yo, what's up? Sorry. You're being hit. Does 21 hit? Uh, yeah. That's nice. I wish I had Nancy that high. <laughs> Level 4, dude. One of which was a nat 20. I don't know if you heard that. If you, got, if you caught that. Yeah, I heard. I heard that Good. one. Taking some plate mail from the pirates we killed, man. Uh, you take a total of... I didn't think anyone had it. 15 so points of bludgeoning damage, Azrus. 15? Okay. Yes. Uh, the second suit of armor is going to try and multi-attack slam uh, Faerus. Big sad. <laughs> First one is a 18 to hit. Oh, second one is a natural 20 again. Fuck! I'm going to oh, chrono shift that natural 20. Okay. Wow, dude. The second one is now a 7 to hit. Nope. So only I one hit. I didn't mind if it still hit, but at least it's not correct. So yeah. you take uh, five points of bludgeoning damage as one fist just slams you into your stomach. And as the other one is okay. coming down from above, you manage to just pu push yourself away to dodge it. Okay. Um, Elias. Uh, I'm going to hide behind everyone else. Okay. And yep. uh, I'm going to Typical. throw a... F yeah, yes. <laughs> Typical. Every other combat I've run in with a fucking magic sword. The one time I hide. Uh, I'm going to... Fuck it. Gonna fuck it? I'm yeah. Um, I don't think it'll make sense. There. Consent, please. I'm going to. I mean, they're inan. Uh, uh, they're animated inanimate objects. I don't the think they. Back of the room, consent. and I'm gonna firebolt the one that was attacking Ferris. Okay. Uh, so twelve, so a dirty twenty. That hits. I, 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 uh, everything I do is like. Fire and psychic and I don't know how that works with enemy damage. That's a uh, 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 ten points of fire damage. Very good, very good. Okay. I got the highest on my dice and then forgot what sort of dice it was. <laughs> nice. Uh, anything else? No. Alrighty. I'll just stay right at the back. Uh, let me go back to Tazris. What do you do? All right. Well, I'm just gonna pull out my uh, warhammer and my shield. And yeah. go to town on this bitch. Fuck yeah. So, I'm gonna make my attack. Yeah. Do it. That is a uh, 19. That hits. Good sure. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my fire ring. Ooh. So I need you to make a strength saving through. Uh, that would be an 11. Fuck yeah, he's restrained by chains. Oh shit! So again, these like fiery chains oh. sprout out of the ground and just grab him by the arms and kind of pull him down. That's sick. And he takes four points of fire damage. Okay. Four points of force damage. Okay. And... Six points of bludgeoning. I want to play a rune knight so badly now. It's so, so fucking sick, so sick, dude. Uh, man, that was uh, that's exact lethal, as us Hearthstone gamers say. As you first summon Sorry. these chains that pull them down, and then just with your you use a, a a hammer, right? Yeah. Just fucking, and that, with that final smash, you can feel like this crackling of energy, kind of just like pulse throughout the room, as the individual armor pieces just clink, 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 clink. Fall to the floor. Ooh. Only I had to spell a magic. Um, nice yeah, that is uh, one suit of animated armor taken care of. And, uh... You know what? Fuck it. I mean, like, I may as well, right? Do it. Huh? I, I, Do I'm it! I'm just gonna use action search, right? Do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use action search. Okay, go for it. Come on, I got big, to. Big pog! So I'm gonna go uh, hit the other boy. Okay, yeah, go for it. 
Uh, that is a 20 to hit. That hits. All right. That's right, I can't use my fire thing anymore, can. but that's fine. Okay, that's cocked. All right. That is a one point of force damage, okay. if that matters. And 12 points of bludgeoning. All righty. Very good. Is that turn? That is my... Oh, and I'm going to bonus action. Use my second wind to regain some hit points. Oh, wait. Call isn't that can mm -hmm. of bitch and walk out. Is a, isn't action surge a bonus action to use? Uh, I don't think so. This is a special action. It's just a special action. Is it? Okay. Special yeah, action, yeah, yeah. Okay. Action surge is just the thing that happens. That's, that's what I'd fair actually enough, been looking fair at. Enough, fair yeah. enough, fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Just, you just choose to take one, another right, action. Right, second wind heals you for what? Your hit die? 1d10 plus 4. Yeah. Ooh, not bad. Three plus four. Seven. Nice. Alrighty, is that your turn? That is my turn. Fetus. So there's Fetus. still the one suit up, right? Because you, you the one kill that the other you one. are uh, being harassed by. I'm going to try and hit it again. Do my it. mace. That's an 18 to hit this time. That just hits. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, my mace is a d6. Yes. You don't look at it. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. And with that, as you slam it with your uh, with your mace, a similar event happens where this magical energy kind of just like pulsates through the, throughout the room, and just the armor suit just falls apart. Oh, so that was go. easier than I thought. Anyone else worried they're gonna like reassemble in like ten minutes? Can I try to put one of the suits of armor on instead of my armor? Ah! Uh, no. Okay. As you uh, kind of brush yourselves off out of this combat, which one of you has? Anyone here have a uh, passive perception of twelve or higher? Yeah, a lot of you. Me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think everyone. everyone. You've already noticed the feet sticking out of the rubble. Mm -hmm. but now you notice the feet are twitching, like moving. Oh no no! Oh. no. Stay the fuck away from me. Can I? I, this one just calls out. Hello? Hello? No reply. Can I try to <laughs> move the rubble off of it? Well, no. don't do that. Mm, I'm makes... just going to start mm. looking for the, the, the gear, man. The what if we help make, uh, make a strength check, Soko. Okay. Okay. That's truly what you want to do. Yeah. I mean, if, well, I, if we help them, they won't hurt us, you know. Well, well clearly... We this is thousands of years old. Anything that would still be alive after that time is not twenty-three. I mess with. 23? Yes, sir. You remove the rubble and you start, you see this like zombified yep, human there it nope, is. Nope, nope, wearing nope, nope, a blacksmith's nope. apron and immediately he tries to lunge at you just Oh, oh, if I see that he's zombified, can I do turn undead? Absolutely. Channel divinity? Because I'm no, like, ah, panic. Teaches. Yeah. I just I see it and I panic just go ah and hold my amulet out towards it <laughs> in panic and he has to make a wisdom save although no uh, why says on me uh, that's uh, ten minus two and eight <laughs> he barely didn't make it my my save is nine because I have a negative wisdom <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, DC nine yeah DC nine, still dude. Hell yeah nice. hog save <laughs> so it's turn for one minute. It has to move as far away from me as possible and yeah. can't take reactions. Um, it can only dash. So it's, it's like, like it, it dies, it's trying it? to lunge at you, Taz. I'll give you a chance to retort just to reply like, as it's trying to, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Go for it. Right in its face. She in the nose. Yeah. Well, yeah, make it When a dog jumps over you and you just tap him on the Oh, uh, that you. is a 24. That hits. That's good. And it takes. 13 Wait, bludgeoning hold on, hold on, hold on. and 2 force damage. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I'm strong as a blacksmith. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you just... You just squish his head and he just... Oh. Stops moving. Like, yeah, he's, 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 he's re-deaded. Re re-deaded. Re just in case... Got... Just in case I move closer to it, it's still holding me and let's go... Shoo! Shoo! Go yeah, away! I'm like getting pocket. closer and just seeing if it um, moves. Are you searching him, uh, Soko? Yeah, I'll search him. Uh, make an investigation check. I oh, don't. Have... 
Well, it happens. You just see you, and in the background, giants, chickens, dragons, uh, <laughs> moving armor. <laughs> you was like, the mainland what the is fuck fucked. Is you having a bit of breakdown? Oh, the mainland no. is fucked. <laughs> the scene never sounded oh. so good. Uh, Eleven. Uh, you find a set of damaged myth mithril smith's tools worth a pretty penny. I mean, I won't say no. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and in this room is also a door. I'm going to start looking through this room for the golden, uh, anything that looks like it's in a gold vial, because that was the hint we were uh, giving. You do so, but with no success. Okay. I just go to the next take a door. Rest to the door. Why would we take, I mean, we're... is there any much reason to? I actually wouldn't mind, no. Because fair has got pretty... Eh, got a little town. Right? I mean, like, I, I, it's a bit sore, but like, I'm okay. I think I you probably would have flattened me. Why don't but... we take a like a rest once we get the vials, and then we yeah. rest on the way out? I would much rather rest closer to the entry as possible. That makes sense, I suppose. Okay, I'm resting. I don't need to rest, away. so I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. If you guys want to. And by keeping sure. an eye out, I just have my eyes fucking on Elias the whole time. <laughs> All right, nap time. <laughs> Can I go put my ear to the door just to listen for sound real quick? Sure. Are you listening for dragon Make a perception check. <laughs> uh, uh, 16. Hot. I think there's zombies behind the door. Well, and then Yay. if we rest, I can do the thing again. Okay. 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 Cool. Let's. I sure rest okay. a lot. So. What sort of? What's the door made out of? Um, wood. Should we maybe barricade the door for a moment? Or I'll sit next to it. And I'll put my back to the door and sit down. What if the door opens the other way? Go ahead. Yeah, push, push I get eaten. Fair. <laughs> okay. I'll accept that as long as it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna use my arcane recovery while we short rest. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna use a hit dice as well. I would like to walk to Favors and just ask for the for the floss. Can just if I get it, just down it. Oh, yeah. I need a drink. I need a drink. He's oh, absolutely blasted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you? When do you stop drinking? You? Because it'll it'll never run out. Well, my when my character starts drinking, he never stops. So. Well, then we're yeah. right. Well, we just opened oh, these rocks, haven't we? He, keep, he, keep, uh. he keeps on going for until Emon grabs it or he just can't hold it anymore. He has uh, seen a oh, lot he, of shit he, today. He, see, you see you just... If it looks to get obscene, eventually I'll take it back. Because I'm like, okay, he'll, he'll, he'll come up for air. He'll come up for air eventually. <laughs> Fucking drowns himself, literally. Uh, you, you just keep drinking, and eventually the, the flask is like joined out of your hands by, by Faerys, who gives you a look of like, I'm... I'm just like, we still have like, you know, some stuff to do. Maybe don't get like too tart, you know? Like just too tart! <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> cannon, boys! <laughs> oh no! Nothing wrong with being a bit turned every now and again, but we're, there's we're time and a place for everything, in. okay? We're Who knew it would be Laura to be able to say that too? <laughs> Draconia is where I'm from. So. Uh, Draconia is just full of raves. At that point, you <laughs> Draconia is literally dead now. I realized that after I said it, when the video, I was like, wait a minute. The Chroma Conclave, like, fucked all of Draconia. Yo. So, my hometown does not exist anymore. It's fine. Magic. I think the, the moment the moment the gets away, died, you, just, you, the you, you just looks down hometown. and he just keeps he keeps just keeps <laughs> <Hell yeah>. just... <laughs> pout, pouts a little I... bit, but eventually he's like, ah, okay, fair enough. All right, so you short rest. At least he's got a nice buzz now, you know. Uh, you short yeah, rest. Yeah, he just he just he just looks at the at the ground and just keeps repeating giant. Does he sway more or less now? Now that he's really drunk, does he sway more or less? Less, less actually, funnily enough. <laughs> uh, but you short rested. If you want to use a hit die to heal up a little bit, you I can. Did. I used um, to hit die. What do so you do? You use I didn't use it. I, I, are you guys ready? Yeah, I'm just gonna do one small swig of the flask just to up my cold resist damage resistance. Start it again because a short rest is an hour. I think. I'll take. That I'll, I'll take a swig as well. Everybody, yeah. pass it around. I do not take a swig. Elias <laughs> does not take a swig. Fair enough. 
to alcohol it. You right. just just moves in, in and, 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 and reaches out for I'll the coffee. Off the wagon. He's a, he's okay. an alcoholic that doesn't drink. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to fall off the wagon, dude. An alky frolic. Recovering alcoholic. Oh, stop. <laughs> so, after you, you find open out, door. you open the door and you see immediately running at you as you open the door, three zombies just <laughs> uh, roll initiative. I'm going to cast Gift of Alacrity on my... St oh, it's too oh, late. No. Oh. Too late. Nice one. Fuck Natural you, 20! Nice. Hell yeah. Opening and that means door. I can try to turn undead again, but again, I know, the save I was really is... hoping you get a high initiative. The, but the save is nine, so you know... Yeah, that's okay, they have a minus two. It's fine. It means that there's a 50-50. In yeah. fact, the odds are slightly yeah. in your favor. May the odds be... You have 55% chance to turn them. 33.3 3 repeat. Right, initiative's 20 plus, please. 21. Natural 20. 21. Wait, both of you roll 21? Uh, yeah. I have plus 3 to my dex. I have plus 3 to my dex, but I also add my intellect to my uh, initiative. Just decide among the two of you which who goes you can first. go first, I don't care. Hey. Elias. Now I feel moderately better about my last um, initiative. Tazra's 15 to 20? 16. Oh, frog girl at the back again. How did she do too? Uh, what did you guys roll? Shatter and Bell? I have a four. Ooh. Eight. Eight and four, all right. I'm too drunk, I don't even see Seed coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, we started? You wait, 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 it's going, it's happening. <laughs> all right. Like in wait, the door's open? He, uh, he, he thinks he's awake. He can go <laughs> first. Okay. I'm gonna try and channel divinity and turn undead and just go back feeds and hold it out again, like looking confident this time because it worked last time. All right. And it'll be even funnier when it does it. That's uh, wisdom saves for all three of them. Yeah. Keep your social distance, bitch ass. Uh, one fails to make it. Okay, so the one can only run away from me. His only action can be to dash. All right. And if there's nowhere to move, his action is dodge. Okay. Fair enough. That's pretty good. Um, else? Well, one of them's dealt with, um, and then I think that's really it because Channel Divinity is my action. I don't really want to do Spiritual Weapon right away because I feel like we'll deal with them. So yeah, that's it. I'm just going to do that and then I go, well, I got one to the party mm -hmm. and then that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Elias? They're zombies. How hardy can they be? I'm gonna um, fireball. Yeah, one attack. Uh, that is uh, 17. Oh, yeah. That's right. Smile. That'll hit. Uh, that is the wrong dice. That is two points of fire damage. Wow. Very good. Good job. <laughs> I'm so proud. Look, as, a, as a wizard, weirdly, my big damage is in melee because that is I thought it was fun. However, I don't know how zombies deal with psychic damage and I don't want to be in melee with zombies because mm. they're zombies. Okay. Is that a turn, Elias? Uh, no, I used my bonus action to whinge about the fact that my fireball didn't do what I wanted it nice. to. Nice. Tazris. Poor baby. Okay. All right, we're gonna giant smite again. Heck yeah! That, oh wait, ooh, ooh. 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 I want to say that actually. Ooh. 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 That's a long rest thing. That's not a short rest thing. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. Uh, you know what? We won't giant smite this time. We'll just fucking go at it against this guy. God, we'll Whack hit the one that him. hasn't been attacked yet. The one that's okay. not turned and not fire bolted. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, does a 22 hit? Um, uh, no. Okay. Uh, 10 bludgeoning damage. Fucking hell, alright. Very good. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, it's my turn. Alright, uh, the zombie that got fire bolted is going to latch onto you, uh, Tazus, and is just going to try and swipe at you with his, with his hand. kind of rude. Uh, 19 to hit? Barely hits, motherfucker. Uh, you take 6 points of, uh, slashing damage. 
Okay. Mother Is that the end of its turn? Yes. All right. I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw. I'm going to use my stones rune. Natural one. All right. It's now nice. charmed by me for a minute. Nice. It has a speed of zero and is incapacitated, descending into a dreamy stupor. It, repens- okay. it repeats the saving throw at each of the end of its turns. Fair enough. Neswin. Hello, that's me. So I'm so I... hungover already. I'm not. I'm just, man, my attention is all over the place. And I, my, fucking <laughs> ADHD, my ADHD is going fucking crazy. <laughs> um, You're fuck sure. all. Uh, I, I, luckily, that's all I have to do. Oh, that, mm, I want to. I want to do something. Though? I want to do something cool, but I won't work on these guys. I'm, upset. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking shoot my bow at it. Boring. Poor baby. Fifty. No, I can't count. Twenty-three. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was adding. I was, oh, I was adding numbers. Just yes. Three. You know. Uh, <laughs> what, what did you roll? I rolled a sixteen. That's what makes it even worse. <laughs> you rolled a sixteen and you had a fifteen to hit. No, I like okay. <laughs> it's okay, Koba. You hit. Thank oh you. my god! <laughs> Five points Jesus damage. Christ. Five points. Yeah. Which one are you hitting? The fucking second one. How about that? One in the middle. How about that? Fair enough. With that, you shoot an arrow right through his eye socket, and he just. Hey, Poggy. Are the boy the other two incapacitated though? Uh, one is turned undead, and the other one is uh, charmed by you, yeah? Yeah, Pog. <laughs> turn undead. Is that your turn? Okay, Brad Um, I'm gonna cast. Are they all like gathered together, kind of? Or some of them? Well, one of them is not making any interest in moving towards you guys anymore and the other one is just standing motionless next to Tazris. Like just like standing okay, there. Okay, uh I'm gonna shoot the one next to Taz with fireball. Okay. Why not? Oh my god, you're so in it, sync. Oh my god. Sixteen to hit. That hits. Well I've had all the fucking floor. Seven damage. Seven points of damage, alright. Very good. Uh, you? Um... You just looks up. Dead people. And he just, uh, throws out a, uh, chromatic I'm orb so to the one that is, uh, that is running, uh, running away. Tries okay. to run away. Yeah, go for it. Natural 20. Oh, hey. nice. Hey. Pop off, king. Well, this drunken man can throw. Drunken sailor! Drunken luck. Do we do with it? Do we do the drunken? That's um, the frozen zombies. Eight, three, yeah. three, 16, zombies. 25, doubled 50 damage. Uh, you, <coughs> you only dam- double the dice roll, not the, the additional like bonus that you get. Here's a yeah, dice roll. True. I rolled an 8, an 8, and a 7. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this guy is super dead. As your orb just like flies toward it, uh, toward the zombie, and it just. And it just splatters, like it's just skin against the wall, and like bones clatter, and yeah, it's fucked. I can microwave the sausage. Um, anything else you want to do with your turn? Just scream. Fair enough. <laughs> horrified by his own abilities. <laughs> he is um, screaming his own reaction. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Um, I have regrets. Ferris. It's your turn, there's one zombie left, and he's standing next to Tazris. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna t- try and bop him. Go for it. Mace to the face. Oh, never mind. That's Mace a natural. Face. Natural one. No. <laughs> no Mace, Mace to the face. Your own face. Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Um, Elias. Uh, it isn't worth any actual effort. Fireball. Okay. Uh, twenty-four. It's. Seven points of fire damage. Yeah, and that'll do it. That's the final zombie also taken care of. Nice. Careless fireball. And now that you have the entire hallway to yourself, you can see that there's four doors. Oh one immediately God, to your so right, good. one a little further down the hall to your left, and then two more further down the hall, one left and one right. 
Do they all look the same? Like they're made the same, they're not the same color, no door looks um, fancier than the other. One door important. stands out to you, and it's the first door on the left. There's a giant red X painted on it. That's promising. Yeah, That's... as much as I hate to admit it, because that'd be the room where you keep the poisonous, like, bad chemicals, and usually you use the same chemical to make the cure for it, so... Yeah, let's go oh, look in that box. that's an indication that I'll open the there's door. plagued individual oh. in here. Oh, which door are you opening? Die. The X door. As you get close to the door, that? you can hear just violent banging oh, and the sound oh. of heavy objects being tossed around. Never mind. Shut the door. I still kind of want to open the door. <laughs> put wooden, oh, shut door, shut door, put wooden, oh. No, I guess. No. Like this, this, is our version of, door. this is our version of don't open dead inside. Yeah. Don't dead. <laughs> If I don't dead. open the door, do I get to keep the dragon? No, this is, uh, these, are, these are not mutually exclusive things, okay? Uh, no, if I don't get one, I need other. No. We oh. let you, no. How about you can open this door after we open all the other doors. Make sure, because if that, the do thing we need is somewhere else. Do any of the other doors have anything on them? Uh, let me check for you. Mm, no. Okay. Um... Hmm. Mm, indeed. So we open I mean... the other doors. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the first one on the right. Okay. Um, no. this door appears to be locked. I will use my thieves' tools. Okay. Uh, are you gonna smash it with your foot? Uh, that's backup plan. Okay, cool. Um, seventeen. You pick the lock and push the door open, and as you look inside, you can see broken blades, cracked hammers, frost-rotted spears, and other ruined weapons are spread around across the floor, falling from the empty iron weapon racks that line the walls. Are they so nope. good? Sorry? Are they, like, good weapons, no. or are they just... Oh, okay. They're ruined. All right, well... Next door! Uh, next door. <laughs> so, so you don't enter the room, you just, you just, like, look sec. inside, close the door again, and you're like, ah, go next? Yeah. Thank you, Nick. I don't like the way you said that. Just Thank making sure you. whether you entered the room or not. Oh. Um. So which door do you go to next? That second one on the right. Second on the right. Yeah. Uh, this door the is not locked. And as you look inside, you can see six long stone tables are set with steel and glass laboratory equipment. <gasps> oh, promising. Whose walls are uh, this chamber? Walls lined with shelves holding all manner of strange knickknacks and tools. You can see an armed humanoid with white skin and red eyes moving from table to table, adjusting bubbling mixtures and carefully adding reagents. He's still there's someone still here. H Fuck. Hello. Oh, it's. Yeah, uh, hold on. What if we wanted to surprise? He looks. Around? He looks at you, and this guy clearly seems undead. What are you doing here, my lab? Um, Did the overseers for... know? What did you say? Did the overseers know of you trespassing into my lab? Had they let us in. What do you want? Uh, we're looking for a cure? We're looking for um, uh, gold vials with a milky liquid. <clears throat> Why? I see what he's working on from here. I don't question the overseers. Um, <clears throat> you're not sure what he's working on? No, you can't really tell. What are you doing in Sal's vault? To get the vials? What vials? Specific. The, Gold the cure for the ones. frigid what? Yes, Chitty antidote whoa. for frigid woe. <clears throat> Not here. We need to finish my work. You know where? Where can we find the antidote? No. Don't. Okay, okay. thank you. Sorry for. Is he lying <laughs> to us? I will. Yeah, is he lying? Can I inside check that? I, I'll say, as so backing up, I'm going to be looking. Doing a check to look at all the vials if I see a gold vial. Any of them are gold, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, make a perception check. 15. Mm. As far as you can tell, there are no vials of that description in this room. Cool. Both Soko and I want to see the line. Next line. Yeah. Make an insight check. What's my insight? <laughs> Probably better than mine. Charisma I have advantage on inside checks. Yo, that's no, sick. No, it's not charisma. It's wisdom, I think. Wisdom. Oh, that's sick, dude. I'm... Uh, 18. You get the sense, the way he's speaking, he's speaking broken common, and whenever he doesn't know a word, he tends to slip in some elven. He is dressed in a way where you, uh, you Elias, uh, you recognize this as, like, stuff they wore in Aeor when the city was still, you know, and not crashed. Based on that, um, you get the sense that he is telling the truth, but you also get the sense that there's a little more to this guy than he's... You said he had, like, red eyes and pale skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's wearing Aeoran robes. Correct. In the ruins of an Aeoran laboratory. Correct. If I get this to be truthful, I'll just kind of be like, okay, sorry. I... I think this guy might be very, very, old. very old. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. He's also a fucking lunatic. I'm just gonna shut the door. Yeah, I'm let's just, let's, that... we have one more room to try. Let's just, let's just grab two more. Give me, give me. Well, one more without me. No. Give me like, give me like two no. minutes. With... No, we've got, we've got no. to find the cure and then you can do whatever the we fuck can you want. We can shut the door. No, we can let Elias it, it, talk it, it, with it, him whilst we go get the cure. Yeah, well, you can talk to him. We'll go to the other room. And if, if you need help, if, just if he, scream. If he's from here, then surely he might know much, much more. Then Elias, you talk why are to you him? guys okay with him talking to this, but I can't carry egg? Elias, remember why I but said... It's much less scary than the egg. Right, that guy that... has red eyes. It's not, not normal. Hey, <laughs> I, I have seen my fair share from Feywild. Okay, it's not normal. I've gone drunken nights there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Imagine the omelets we can make. One. Well, you got one either way, I'm going to go look at the other door that doesn't have an yeah, X on I'm it. Not, I'm not and fucking with that. If you want to talk to this guy, just scream. I if love you, the idea if, of, like, you frog attack. person. I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> Elias, please keep the door yeah. open. When you I'm not with that. Okay, Mom, I'll keep the door open. No, 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 no. Why yeah. are you? What are you doing there? Why is your door locked? <laughs> to okay. the left. I'm the next door. the lid. You guys to find all go to, to uh, the I other door. I will stand in the middle so I can keep an okay. eye on Elias and Pip, try and listen to the conversation. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, what do you? What do you want to? What do you want to ask him, Elias? First of all. Uh, God, I hate. First that. of all, I'm gonna say, do you? You're, you're working. I know that you're uh, yes. an incredibly talented Mr. Grad. Do you mind if I observe you? I have an interest in this sort of thing. To take revenge on the gods. Hmm. Well, that's good. And he just continues mixing and making making some kind of liquids and... And I... Is what he doing? Is is what he do? Arcane in nature, or yeah? Do I know what he's trying to do? Can I figure that out just by mm, watching? Mm, no, because this is like some ancient arcane shit. Like this is way above your pay grade, my guy. Okay. Are there any? Uh, <laughs> is there any like papers anywhere? Any runes? Any magic symbols or circles? There's shelves with components, reagents, and lab supplies that are all seem very dated and very old. Um, you don't see any paperwork. What you do see is on the tables, there's, uh, on each table is a working set of alchemist supplies that all have vials of frigid wool. In okay. Is, uh, is this how you intend to take revenge? Yes. It's in the solid. And the city of Aeor will truly be the most powerful place.
place in the worlds. Awkward. I'm. I'm. I will show him my dagger. Where did you get this? I uh, I actually re received it as a as a gift. Aeon craftsmanship really is incredible. Uh, would you mind telling me more about what you're working on? I, I make a deception check. Really interested. Deception. Deception. I hate academic. Uh. I'm gonna crawl and shift. No! Fuck, I've said it now. Uh, it's an 18. I don't think I had to do that. I had a 15 and I could have waited okay. to find out if I passed or not. You seem trustworthy. You need cure. Right? Oh, shit. I, I we, um. Yes, but also. I'd like to learn what you how you make it, or some of the magic behind it, if that's okay. Fortunately, I have to ask the overseer first, but you're the room across in a chest. Oh, that's where we are. And he hands you a key. Thank you very much. Um, if I go see the overseer and bring you your key back. Would you be able to show me more about this? Good proof. You have permission. Yes. <laughs> How much oh. of this conversation can I overhear? Bits and pieces. Like. Very part. Okay, before I you leave, hear Elias's half. I just hear it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like you hear Elias's resp responses, you don't hear what he gets in return. Um. Do 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 do. I don't think there's any way for me to. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with that for now. Um. Thank you... God. <laughs> Once you've uh, finished this formula, have you made any consideration about delivery method? Might I suggest maybe fashioning it into some sort of ranged weapon? I can't imagine it's something you'd want to get close to. Oh! <laughs> I like I'm the way to be you nice think. to him and work, be collaborative so that he likes it's me. A good idea. Come. I hear the words like range weapon. I'm like, <laughs> I kind of fucking just go up to the door. I'm like, I'm Elias. <laughs> What's that? Oh, he's 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 okay. Okay, I'm. Um, I'll bring you your key back, and I'll. Yeah, I'll bring you your key back once we've sorted this. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, your work is incredibly uh, informative. Going to kill all the gods. I know, and I wish you luck in that venture from one academic to another. <laughs> hey. I sort of back out of the room. Mm -hmm. Good luck killing the gods. I get, I, I'm like, did you learn anything cool? I just dangle the key in front of his face. What's that for? Well, I know it's a key, like I get that much. But the chests with the cure in it, which are in the room that oh. they're all heading in. Oh, that's great news. So you learn a lot. See, look, when you're not greedy, you can learn so much. Let's go! And I kind of so, fucking half drag him. <laughs> like, meanwhile, like, are we just in the room, the like shaking yeah, the chest, you, like nah, how open? I mean, you kind of like, like, I mean, first of all, the door was locked, uh, so it'll, it'll oh. take a few minutes, uh, like opening the door, uh, which yeah. eventually you'll do. But at that point, Elias is already like that conversation okay. didn't last very long. I would have been down the door. And as you enter the room, a cold wind howls through the collapsed east wall of this huge chamber. The far side completely submerged under frigid seawater. A dense bed of kelp grows up from the submerged floor, obscuring any sight of what lies below. Broken glass and the remains of shattered tables cover the floor in the dry section of the room. What a yeah. Well, yeah, um, Water. looks like it's your time to shine, guys. I'm gonna go wade into the water. Damn, I'll follow. You also just runs into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, very water. cold, Fine. but because you've drank a sip of the uh, the beverage, you don't take damage. Oh, we all did, didn't we? Um, you don't take I any could, at all? I'm going to stay out of wow. the water. Yeah, I'm not going in. I'm I didn't. covered in metal. I'll sink. I didn't, I didn't drink a flask. Okay, so wait, who's going into the water? The two water boys, I'm assuming? Yeah. All the water peeps. All the water peeps. The water I boys and the you sailor. Because he's a sailor. Yeah, he's Anyone, a water Anyone, like, going underwater? I got, I yeah. got into water. Like, like, force sure. emerged? Hell yeah. Okay. I will go, I will go as well. Why not? I swam. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's hella drunk. He don't feel anything. I'm drunk. I finally see you uh, again. Dude. You all have a passive I'm perception of 11 or higher, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You all three of you immediately notice a stone chest built into the floor submerged in the water against the back wall. Gonna go in the grab water. It? In the water, yeah, like underwater. No, is it is, is in the wall? Like it's like it's uh, in the floor. It's, oh, is it? Yeah, does it look like it be? Take, does, does it look like it's fully mm. affixed? Does it look like it be? No, this is like, like completely like as all chests you've seen so far is part of the architecture. Like they're part oh, okay, of okay. the floor. Um, I see it's locked. Like, is it? Does it seem locked? Uh, you're gonna have to get close and check. But once you get close, yes. I will. Like, wait, wait. Oh, fucking. Well, you can never. You know? No, I would understand you, right? I'm sure. Fuck it. I speak fucking common in it, so I'm just commonly speaking, just in the water. <laughs> and I fucking come up. Elias! Hello? You have that key? Yes. We found the chest. It's in the floor, so we can't bring it up because it's part of the architecture. Please don't lose this key. I won't. You can trust me. I can't hold my hand like a fucking kid. Just like, you can trust me. Okay. Is Rav there as well? Hell no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I I'm just, <laughs> I've just got my head like poking out from the surface of the water. I pass you the like... key. <laughs> hey, me or Rav? <laughs> Rav. So you, okay, uh, I'll take the key. You go back down to the, to the chest. Uh, you open it. Yeah. And inside, you find 20 doses of frigid woe antidote. Oh shit. And what seems to be some kind of prosthetic eye. Ooh, taking that. Oh, that's creepy. Oh great, now Bell's gonna cut our eye. I can't oh, part two, to, but this time it's the eye. <laughs> Having a spoon. This looks like my frog eye. <laughs> um so The legacy continues. You have okay, the cure so in I hand, have... enough doses to cure everybody that you know are afflicted. What do you guys do? Going back up. And do you show them to us? Yeah, I'm like, hey! I just like, small applause. We got it! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here! Can we open the other door? No! The we don't need to door? now! Let's get out of here. Have not leave. Elias, do you know what's behind the other door? No. You wanna go ask? Sure. Oh my he god. He seems to like me. Can I have the key back, please? Oh yeah, give it back to him. Oh, you wanted it back? Chill. Yeah. Oh, I left it in the chest. Go get it, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, in oh, no, right. the chest. Yeah, yeah, just like just in left the, lock. the chest open. Is it auto lock? Because then you've locked the key inside. <laughs> no, it's just it's like, like a oh, car. This is like my car all over yeah, again. That's why I was like, oh no. <laughs> no, like when you leave it in the lock. Oh, okay. You just okay. unlock it and then just take, don't take it out. Okay, okay I get it. I'll go, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Okay. Go get a key and bring it back. I'm going to go back to the madman. Okay. The madman. The I don't know what his name is. Did you find the cure? We we did, yes. Here's your, uh, here's your key. Thank you. Just put it on the table. The key on the table. Anything else? There's a room back that way. The Rather large mark. Stay away from there. Oh. Okay. Here you go. There's a flesh golem. A, a failed experiment. Ew. Better to be locked away. Kill all of us. Oh. This is very sensible, yes. Um. Before we leave, is there anything else here that we should take a look around? Anything that is that would be of interest to someone like us? And I like motion like me and Madman when I say us. 
anything interesting to, like, us? <laughs> Not us, the party. Us. Nope. <gasps> the mad spellcasters. I assume he's a spellcaster. <clears throat> Undead and Aeor. What is Aeor and they're all spellcasters. You happen to find my private quarters. Don't go into the chest. Trapped it with snakes. Eesh. Dangerous, poisonous snakes. Those snakes are probably dead, no, aren't they? I would never rummage through your belongings, but... And that's what Ollie says. Can I see what... I'm assuming the components he's using are, like, not actually making anything because they're long since Correct. dried up or... Correct. He seems okay. to just kind of be in, like, this, this, like, loop of, like, he's doing something, but even he doesn't really know what he's doing anymore. And I see the... Like, is there... <sighs> Are the components he's using in any way like like are there marks on the vials or anything? No. Okay. Um. Elias, are you guys fucking in there? What's that? He's truthfully an idiot, but he's uh, rather good in traversing the areas around here. So <laughs> we tolerate him. Experiment on him. Unfortunately, not as tempting as it may be. I do rather require him. I have to get back to my work now. That's absolutely fair. Although, <clears throat> before I leave, I'll point at one of the tables on the other side of the room. I, uh. We, we mentioned range delivery methods. You said that... Okay, before I go on, you said in this room there were some of the vials, right? Yes. Okay. Which side of the room are the vials on? You're talking about... Um, vials of Frigid World. They're, like, spread around. Yes. Like, the, the, the six tables in the room all have vials. Are there any near me? I mean, yeah, you're standing at a table okay. with homie. Uh, we spoke about a range delivery method. I actually had some plans on that. I've put them on your desk over there if you want to go have a look. But we're going to head out. It was lovely to meet you. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Hey. Did you move? No, like he says goodbye and he just kind of stands there and he's still just doing his work. Is... I'm gonna pot her up. <laughs> Sorry. The lich just got the shit out of me. <laughs> it's not a um, lich, but... Yeah. I... Okay, the centuries-old magic man. I'm gonna wander over to one of the tables with vials on it. Okay. Are you paying attention to me? No. Uh. uh you should hurry up. We yeah. are on timetable. Yeah. All right, Dimitri. Dude, I don't know what my <laughs> accent's become this whole time. So <laughs> my um... accent has just been constantly evolving. Because I don't know what I started with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna risk it like for a biscuit. Do not risk it. Oh my god. <sighs> Bella's like a whole ass tonight, dude. We're leaving you here. Could you stop? We're leaving everyone here. Yes, uh, I am going to... Love it. Yes. ...use my robe so I'm not directly touching <gasps> it, but I'm gonna... ...pick right. up one of the vials of Frigid Wall and see if he knows Constitution saving throw, please. I'm using my robe so uh, I'm not directly touching it. Did I say... Did I stutter? Natural 19. Okay. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> I I very I'm gonna try and I'm not pickpocketing it yet. But I'm gonna try and pick it up quietly and see if he notices me handling it. No. I pocket it. Okay. I leave. You, you know I have a vial of frigid wool. Oh. I, I don't start playing this. somewhere else now, dude. Oh, I, I hate All right, so All right, in the meantime, as you leave this hallway behind, you make your way back to the entrance. Is there anything else you wish to do in the facility before you leave? Do it now or forever no. hold your peace. Nope. Tezus yeah. runs out to no. his snowbed. Yep. I Get sort of want to explore, but... Please ready to go. that egg is fucking gone. <laughs> don't, don't. Please tell me my I... egg's okay. Calvin's fine. Ah, oh, there's so many... 
<laughs> you there's fucked so up, many, dude. Uh, there's so many yeah, magical things off. that could be here. We should we should explore this. There's a we lot. We are on a time sensitive mission. People are dying People are gonna die. while we wait. You all make valid points. I suppose you're right. Let's go. <laughs> Nesrin has the biggest grin. I'll leave without a single worthwhile. Is there thing. as we're walking back? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hang back a little bit. Do I find just anything that looks semi magical at all? No. It looks kinda nothing. Nothing that just looks kinda cool. Mm. I find a cool rock. Um yeah, I mean, the, the, like the, the you know, the brickwork of the wall is very ancient looking and there's Yo, a couple of loose bricks. Can I fucking can I fucking just take one? Sure man. No. Take a real break. talk. How um, is Tazarus's egg doing? Yeah, no I'm pulling. Yeah, I'm True. I mean it, egg's still there vibing. Yes! No. yes! All right, I pick it back up and I cradle it. I give it a little tap, tap. All right. I say, remember, 60 feet. All right. For the, oh, for the sake of brevity, <laughs> it takes you about eight days to travel back to uh, the village. No you... dragons attacking us in the eight days. No, but... <laughs> no dragon hatching? Oh, shit. Halfway through your trip. Oh, no. The egg starts to hatch. Yes. Yes. As yes. This white dragon, like, 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 wormling. Uh huh. Hatches out of the egg. Fucking hell. And seems to have done some form of imprinting on you because it does not want to leave your side, Tazris. Yeah. We kill it. You now <gasps> no! seem to have. A, I will a, fucking murder you. You seem to have <laughs> some kind wait. of parental bond with a baby white dragon. Whether it loves you or not, that thing is evil, and it will kill all of us apart from you. And I will kill you if you kill it. <laughs> You're um, in charge of feeding it. You're going to watch it grow up to eat your friends. I we should have killed the griffin for it. would have fed it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is Nesbin. So, face. Uh, <laughs> you come this back to town idea. with this like, white dragon wormling just like like ha clamped, clamped onto you, Tazris. Um... What Still 60 feet away from us at all times. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming you go to... Um, right to the buyer. Yep. Yeah. The buyer, right? Yeah. That's what uh, his name. Uh, Still, his whatever it is. And he uh, takes the vials, the cures from you, and puts them in the chest, and says a few words, and opens the lid again, and as you can see, vials are gone. Um, you then hop back aboard the ship, the Remoraz. You... Wait! Oh. Wait! Oh, if wait. he brings the dragon you to the ship, you said he wouldn't let him on the ship. Oh, true. We have a problem. This good dragon. <laughs> uh, I um, uh, the moment he wants to get on board of the ship, I just walk up to him and just stop him. You have a decision: you leave it here, or we have a problem. Or, I or you, you find your own passage. Or you find your own passage on a separate ship that, if you can find one willing to take you, how plus does, your uh, friend. How does 150 gold sound? That's a lot of money, you. That's a lot of money. Is this enough to buy a new ship when this one gets burned? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Absolutely, yes it is. I'm very, very uh, lawful to the ship, so I just look at him and say, Regan, down, or you go down. <laughs> Away. Well, I'll see gold. you in about three months when you find a different ship to chat. Yeah. Bye. I'm I'll already on the ship. Ten more seconds to make a decision. Two hundred twenty-five gold. Ship. Five seconds. <laughs> Two hundred fifty. And I got and I cast comedic orb second level on the. <laughs> You're fucking going for it, dude. And I'm gonna go for the two sorcery points, and I'm gonna attack them both. The both you're attacking of them. The too? Oh. Yeah, no. I'm attacking them both. Oh no. This is what the character. This is what my character would do. So I'm gonna do it. It's dragon. What's with the guests and killing our player characters? Man? <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not gonna kill him. He's gonna knock him being Dutch as well. Kill his I mean, dragon, and then I mean, um, shit. I can't catch it. Dutch is like, why did I just just about to have an death. aneurysm. I really am. Oh, Dutch is like, why did I just omit the egg? I, I mean, left that out. I mean, it's <laughs> not it's not I mean, Shadow did tell him he wasn't going to bring it on the ship. Yeah, he gave That's him lots of notes. First roll is a natural 20. 
Oh. Which one are you not 20ing? Him or the dragon? The dragon. Okay. The dragon, Can I dive the, 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 in front of my dragon? The dragon is the issue. Oh, shit. And for the other one. My poor dragon. <laughs> Bye, Kelvin. That is a 19. They both to hit the dragon? No, the one's, first one is to, is to hit the, the dragon, and okay. the other one, because I'm using my. What's it called? My, my twin, twin spell. Yeah. Yeah. Twin, so I need some different targets. So okay. let's go. Can I protect my dragon? I mean, it's attached to it. you if you want to like huddle yourself around it. Yeah, I'm going to huddle you... around my dragon. Mm. He's going to take both, both hits. Die. Okay. Kelvin, oh. my boy. Roll, roll damage. <laughs> both attacks hit Azrus. Oh. Okay. And one's a Wait. crit, so you double the dice. Yeah. Wait, what was the other one? 20 and 19. 19. Oh. 19. A natural 20 and a 19. Yeah. It was 18 I would have missed. Too bad, bruh. If I survive this, dude, I'm gonna fucking rail your ass so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. That's great. 16. <laughs> PvP initiative. 16, Let's go. 19. 22. Doubled 44. You're fucking okay. dead! Okay, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. That was the first oh. one. There's a second. And then no, the, the other one's of the dragon. No, yeah, he's, he's taking them both. both. He's oh, he's taking them both. Fuck, I'm stupid. Soko's fucking dead. This is for Calvin. Eight. Guys, is it really a dungeon I'm... select anything, though, if Soko doesn't die? Let's Proving. be honest. We're carrying rolling, on the tradition. I'm, I'm rolling very well on damage. That's 16, 23, 28. Unconscious. 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 Yeah. So with that, Tasris goes unconscious, and you're met with a baby dragon, just like, like, like wings, wings, small wings oh. around Tasris, trying to protect what he sees as his father. Oh God! Do we let it run away, or do we kill it? So it's not going to run away. It's it's not going to run away. It's imprinted. Right I can make it run away. Can you? The moment we can kill it. I can drive. make it run away and we'll just drag Tazra's unconscious body on the ship and leave and by the time he wakes up it'll be too late. Okay. The moment um, the, the moment the, the dragon is just laying there, I just turn around. He's not coming on the ship. Oh I no, said that's what I said. Oh, you mean Tazra's not coming on the ship? Oh, oh he okay. can he, he he can come. The dragon, the dragon stays now. here. Oh, okay, okay. Do we make Got the it. dragon and I just walk up or do we kill it? I'm just gonna Don't quickly just go <laughs> cast. I'm just gonna quickly touch Tazrus and just cast Spare the Dying so he's stabilized. But you're yeah. still unconscious. We're not getting you up. We're not healing you. <laughs> yeah. Don't be honest. I I have I have no qualms, but I'm worried that some of you may feel some level of moral worry when this thing grows up and eats people. Well, what what if? Yeah, I mean, and Do also, it. what if it comes back and tries to find him later? That's a fair After point. We should like, kill it. I oh, can't yeah. <laughs> Do I see fucking the Shadow Blade stubbing cast? Yes. I fucking pull my bow and just like sting it at her. Oh my yeah. god! At the dragon yes. or at me? No, Elias. Look. Elias, no. I, I understand that you <laughs> have a great deal of respect for a lot of things. <laughs> However, this will grow up to kill creatures. And people. That's a force of nature. It's not it's a force a... of nature. It is a purely evil being that exists to kill. It takes frozen corpses as trophies. That is not natural. I mean, it is for that thing. <laughs> but it still has a right to live. It's going to keep coming back for him. <laughs> We don't know that for sure. It we, might forget. Uh, it's only a baby. I mean, if it's Do real mother, if it's about real baby? mother finds it and they go off, and then it's not gonna come back. It only if is it's gonna, real right mother now, finds it and realizes that it hasn't imprinted on her, but has on our friend, and then the mother comes to kill him because of it. And if the mother finds out that we've killed its baby, I'm sure that'll go just as well. We just leave it. It'll probably fucking die in any way. Look, it's a baby. It doesn't survive. I just don't want to be Yeah, it doesn't know how to feed I just, itself or anything. I just anything. don't want its blood in my hands. Just put it in somewhere else. All of this while this, this conversation is happening, this like hatched, this freshly hatched dragon wormling is just like it. cradling Tazris. And you can see like his okay. tears, the okay, kind of like small tears. Fuck you. 
Why? <laughs> I will. I will get a ration out. And it's a baby. It it's out. a literal baby. It's Google Gaga baby. baby. Dragon. Yeah, it's, I will. I will <laughs> like four days old. If the, I'll hold a ration out to it to try and like get it to like look up and make an animal look. handling check. Uh, seventeen. Get imprint on you now. Now I have to kill you. <laughs> it like. Looks at the ration, looks back at Tazris, looks at the ration, and is kind of tr trying to like get the ration while also all still holding on to Tazris at the same time. I don't think I'm just gonna try and like lean it out, or just move it away, kind of further. But come on, Neswin, you're the strongest person oh. here. You come need on. to help carry Tazris onto the boat. I will. Take I can. The I can carry Tazris onto the boat. I definitely am not the strongest one here. I was gonna say I'm offended. Hey, no, I know I'm not. You need to this. help carry Tazrin on the boat. I don't have to do shit. I'm I will not take this dragon up. I will take it and let it into the wild. I know it's fine. I can do that. See, I've got the ration. I'm going to start trying to pull it out into the wild. Okay. It's going to go terribly. I'm going to try and. As it gets lured away in Draconic, it just yells, Father. <laughs> oh, I understand it. I <laughs> will. <laughs> Draconic. Huh? I will try Why and you speak to it. I, because it's not a not you. <laughs> for I you will... I'll I... try maybe because I heard it say a word. I didn't think it would. So yeah, I'm just gonna in draconic say, "Can you understand me?" Looking at the the wormling. It re replies in draconic. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm just gonna hold my hands up to the party one second and speak in draconic. Point at Tazarus. Not your father. Thief. You Thief, your mother out there, and point the direction we came. You have a mom. She looks like you. Where? You're adopted. <laughs> it just it just looks at you. Did kidnapped. And just asks, You've been it, it just kidnapped. Asks, where? Uh, again, I point. I say, northwest. Follow cold. Very go where it's very cold. Colder father like again nods at, at tazris i just nod no not not your father accident <laughs> took you <laughs> you were an accident it kind of looks You're at you adopted. and looks back at tazris and hesitantly follows neswin and I'm while it's good. looking away, the minute it like lets go of Tazarus' body, I'm just dragging Tazarus onto the ship, I... unconscious, away, out of sight of the wormling. I will try and get as far away from the pie as I can until they can't see. Don't stamp on it. You're gonna say something to it. Watch it. Watch it be some you. secret I fucking. Can. Oh god. Can I get close to the water? <gasps> Are you gonna drown it? That's so mean. Uh, what do you what, what are you saying, Quiver? Can I get close to the water? Yeah. It's gonna fucking drown it. And I will cast fog, fog Cloud, so no okay. one can see through. Okay. You absolute monster. I At least I was honest with my intent. Yeah! And Is he gonna just, like, stick it to the underneath of the boat and be like, and... No, you can come <gasps> with us anyway. And I will just... <laughs> I I'll say to us, like... Know. I'll just say to us, like, Right, when I drop this brick, I need you to run that way as quick as you can, okay? Speaking draconic? Oh, he's pretending. Nope, I am speaking just common to it, and I'm just like, oh. I'm just kind of pointing that way, I'm like, Bruh. like I kind of throw the Russian kind of like, go, 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 go. 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 Yeah. And I, you just hear this kind of loud splash as I keep hold of the brick and just hold it and you splash this brick around. As you do that, the, the 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 baby dragon, boy. yeah, dips out. And then you just, I'm making like a lot of noise in the splashing of this brick. Okay. Eventually, you're all aboard, aboard the ship. And I press the tissue to break to make it dry. Put it back in my sack. Back in the bush. Did we all witness this? We just saw a fog cloud we saw a and fog cloud. away. And we We've heard We've seen him use a flood cloud before, though. Yeah. yeah. So? Okay. And you can't see through it. It's a heavenly no. obscured area. <laughs> so no. you're all, all aboard the, know the ship. You comes your actions. back. The ship leaves port. A few hours into the trip, Tantris wakes up. Without dragon. What happened to Kelvin? Would you believe um, it? The, the, he, she, its mother actually turned up. Insight I, check. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, inside check. Because you sound fucking full of shit. Yeah. yeah. Would you believe? Well, he yeah, when you start a question with would you believe, like, I mean. Well, he missed the one to be here. 21? Yeah. 21? <laughs> He sees through. He sees through. You see through the time. ruse. Fuck you. Chrono shift. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> reroll, so good. Does that mean which one do I have to reroll? I get to choose. Oh, did you roll with advantage? I rolled with advantage. Oh, you just roll a th you. A third. Uh, you. Just yeah. Roll how does that work? Another with dice. My advantage. So I just uh, roll one other dice, and that's what it is. You force the creature to reroll. Yeah, Whether you the roll again. succeeds or fails, the target must use the second okay. roll. So I roll both again and just. Yeah. I don't even want to look if that's actually a 19 or an 11. 14. You believe him? That's actual sadness. You believe I'm him? Sorry. I really am, but it's. At it's least Calvin's in a... where he belongs. Exactly. That's the best way to look at it. And I I'm give him like take a. Take off my armor. A pat on the shoulder. I'm going to lay down mm -hmm. and I'm going to cry. For a long time. <laughs> Eventually, I, ten days or uh, eight, yeah. no, nine days of sailing go by. I, I let the pie know what I told him. <laughs> you arrive in Pillbank Village. We go along with the ruse. And, if uh, he ever asks us, we all go along. It's time along for you with all it. to say goodbye to you, as he, uh, you. you know, is back on the ship and um, the ship is about to leave. Yeah, we're back in port. Mm -hmm. I want to set a ship on fire mm -hmm. on accident. Yeah. On accident. While we're leaving, Holy I'm gonna summon my shit. fiery chains as I walk Holy out of the cabin and shit. just keep on walking. Okay. Sorry. Oh my god. Do, do I see this? I mean, you're, do you have a reason to be in his private chambers? <laughs> I mean, <Hey>. no. <laughs> probably not. Good shout. <laughs> can, can, can I, mean, I unless see... you want some uh, huh, fucking on the can ass, I, I'm Can I see the smoke <laughs> before he leaves the ship? Uh, not initially, because you're, you're, you're top deck and oh. not oh. right away. We as a group oh, no. walk away, and then the ship's on fire, like, th three minutes later. Oh, yeah, baby. So, um, oh, God. Party says their goodbyes to you, who eventually the ship makes ready to leave again. Um, As it just left port, you hear someone shout, FIRE! But it seems that the fire gets put out before it, ca it causes uh, it's any, like, lasting damage. You, you will always know who did this. It's too late to do something about it. The you one remember fucking this. guest that doesn't want to betray us, and we betrayed them and made them an um, enemy anyway. I did not betray anything. Did we just say As this you is so? To, to Elro. I rescued a child. You get word <laughs> that. Um, oh, no, child. Sadly. Hold on. Oh no, did they die? We didn't make did them die! That uh, Tolki and her sister, unfortunately, oh, fuck them. That's oh, okay. perished. Oh no. But they the managed to administer died. an antidote to um what's their names again? Hold on. The tieflings. And their children. They, they had vanity names. They administered an they antidote are. to uh, Arl Bortok, his husband, and their two adopted uh We uh, saved the gays. It's oh, fine. Wait, no, Irvin Leal, sorry. Ir Irvin Leal and Fenton Tethwick are the names. And their two uh adopted <laughs> tiefling kids named Honor and Magic. And they're oh. all fine and oh. safe and uh, dandy. They now owe us a life debt. Yay! And with that, you get another uh, 200 gold. Ooh, each? No. As a thank you. And eventually, it is time for you to leave Pillbank Village. On to your next adventure. We've but already left you. Nazareth. Oh. Mm -hmm. As you, oh. you know... One night, during a, a, just oh, a regular yeah. camping night, as you're on your way to whatever adventure is next for you and your group, you swear that just for a second, you see above the trees, right before you fall asleep, you swear for a second you see the outline of a white dragon wormling. Aww. When you wake up, he's gone. It's okay. One day. You guys are fucking horrible and I hate all of you. Me. Same. I hate my <laughs> whole That's an evil group. creature. You guys are all terrible. A baby, May I just a say, baby. it is so baby. What is it the is alignment so of that baby? 
Hold on, may I say it's so good that this is not in the world, our actual campaign is things. We just set up some potential very strong villains that could have fucked us Dude, in campaign Tat, too. If you guys had murdered Calvin and he found out, bro, oh. Little like Tazris, you could come back like as an evil pirate I mean, captain. Or is everyone. Fucked. As far as everyone else knows, they have no idea what happened to that fucking wormling. See, and you the still problem is, right? Because Elias is a jammy bastard, and he knows that... <laughs> ...that Neswin covered up his actions. So he is 50-50 on whether it I was mean... faked, or whether Neswin was like, I don't want the others to see this, I told them I was gonna set it three, and he now thinks you're a psychopath, because you beat a dragon to death. <laughs> While Nesbitt. also covering it for uh, everyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so 100% yeah. as well, the brook that Nesrin got, he at some point in those camps would have given it to Elias and so they like, bought you back a bit of ale. Just to really fuck with you even more. Just to really fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate all of you. Uh, Shadow, thank you so much for That's joining us. I brought you some too. You. Hope you enjoyed. Frigid War. Hope you enjoyed uh, playing along. I, I I very much enjoyed it. Oh, it was great. Thank you for the I gift. That was the Thank end you. of that session as much as Dutch oh, hated it. Especially you piece of shit. I'm going to fucking murder your Look, ass, bitch. We're going to get it out of our system now so that Shout we're not constantly killing each other. The other yeah, Dutch guest who has killed or attacked our party. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> he was the, the first one that was justified. Maybe we just can't have Dutch guests anymore. We know? can't. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe the, I mean, Opti was fine, right? Yeah, we're two to one. Though. I mean, I mean, Opti I mean, was good. Opti I mean, ma I mean, maybe you need players that that, that listen to characters. That and, 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 and I listen mean, to warnings. Maybe you just need to take the fucking bribe. I mean, <laughs> I like four ships. Uh, yeah. bribe, bribe, bribe yeah, the there's four ships in that like, Fuck. Okay. Next week, bribing um, the lawful character always works. Next week we will uh, pick up what these characters one more time before the end of the campaign. Oh. Okay. As we're going to be playing uh, a bit of a, a, a shorter version of another adventure in this uh, book called Dangerous Designs. Uh -huh. Where um, you uh, are going to be traveling. Oh, wait. Uh, we all get 33 pieces of gold. To the lower the regions of the city of Upper Duke. Oh, oh, we're going to Upper Duke. We, get, we yeah. get to go to Upper Duke. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so that will be next week. Uh, tomorrow oh, I'm we so shall uh, be back, me, Ethan, and Duke. We're playing Baldur's Gate 3 on this channel. I'm going to kill myself uh, this for a third will be time on in YouTube the YouTube Wednesday, Bell? Yes. Right? Cool. This goes up on Wednesday, and then Baldur's Gate goes up on Friday. And Beautiful. Hades on Wednesday as well, baby. And, and Hades, Hades is on Wednesday, and oh, that yeah, will and go we up have a Hades on fucking thing Hades. As well this week. Dude, so Hades much will be uploaded content, boys. You're spending so much time with me this week. Heck guys. yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, so, yeah, we'll be playing uh, that one shot uh, next week. I'll probably have to trim it down a little bit just to make sure that it fits into one week because we don't have two weeks like we did with the previous yeah. two, but we'll figure it out. But, um, yes. Thanks for watching, everybody. I would like to do uh, yeah, Wiggins. Thanks for the follow. The Bard's Cod Piece. That's a very good fucking name. That's, that's, that's a good that's name. Pretty, that's thanks for the follow. Name on uh, there's a giveaway going on. We're giving away a copy of Baldur's Gate 3. Giveaway winner will be announced uh, August 15th on the starting day of our um, second campaign. And all the good shit. Final art reveal next week as well. Uh, all <gasps> we get to see stuff. the whole party. We get to see the whole party. Next week, and it's exciting. Shatter, once again, thank you for being here, buddy. Shatter. I know I hit you up super thank last you minute. Hope you, you have fun. Me. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be, we'll be back tomorrow. Some of us will be for some Baldur's Gate three action. Yeah. Hey. Take care, everybody. Yeah, yeah, have a good night. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hey. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Later. Good night, guys. Don't kill baby dragons. Kill them all.